because mm -hmm. all right here we go session nine advanced dungeon and dragons when a star falls possibly conclusion we'll see this module's been a long haul and it's been a bloody one here we go uh we've got nestor and kyle and jeff so far brad's supposed to be here too ranger brad i sent him a message We shall Ooh. see. I was hidden in there. He's always forgetful, though. I'm, I'm wondering where he is. Anyway, I'll run his character. If he dies, he dies. Uh, so Ranger Brad will go with you over there because he's sort of good with animals. Mm hmm Yeah. And I, are you on roll 20 right now? Yeah. Want me to move you over there? All right. First of all, there's a large uh, part cullis or uh, bars across the main entrance, and then the individual pen. You see that they they're chained to the wall. Each one of these lizards, and they're big, and they're sniffing and looking and wondering at the noise and the smell of the blood. And you can hear a few of them shuffling around back there, and like. Mm -hmm. Ranger Ranger Brad's like, oof. And you know, there's a mechanism there you can lift up the bars. Like a yeah. winch. I'm going to go for it. All right. Clang, 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 clang. All right. Make a uh, strength roll. That would be a two. Actually, you have to, uh, have to make an open doors roll, I should say. You know how that works? Yeah. Sorry to kind of cut you off there. You go on your right. character sheet under strength. Your open doors are one at one and two out of right. six. You roll six sided. Yeah. That's a one. <laughs> All right. So yeah, it's just you realize, oh, it's yeah, usually there's probably three or four of these little gibberlings on there, and you're just a little gnome, but what did you only oh, strength eleven? Okay, so mm -hmm. <laughs> and you just you go and you get the balance. And click, 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 it starts going up. Mm -hmm. You just the, watch uh, it. Yeah. Wow. wow. Look, uh, they're utterly dormant. Um, mm -hmm. It's probably your size, your stature or something. And mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. You're covered in, you got blood kind of splattered on you. And, and you're a bit nicked up. You got a few wounds, right? Yeah. But oh, not, like, you guys should not. take stock of your health potions and stuff and, and everything. Get yourselves buffed yeah. up. Yeah, but they're not like openly hostile towards me. <laughs> no, they're all really quite dormant. This one up here is actually mm -hmm. has its back to you. Let me turn it around. All right. Uh, let me see if I have any health potions. So and this. I had who? had what? Um, and halfway of the night and in that quest. You're you're lucky. It seems mm -hmm. they've been recently fed. Mm -hmm. And they were kind of dormant sleeping. Mm -hmm. And now this one kind of is looking over toward the entrance though. I'm gonna I'm gonna check them out. I'm not gonna try anything too risky, but I'm gonna I'm gonna check this one out that's got his attention. Okay, uh, make an intelligence check real quick for me. All right. And then we'll go to Tanriel if you want to do anything. All right, there's a three. You're just watching Sprite? Yeah. yeah I'm just, oh, wait, no, I have, I'm have. i going to drink a healing potion. Uh, those are what, D4 or D8? Yeah, what D8. is the... Uh... A healing potion is D8. Or 2d4. Uh, 2d4, okay. Excuse me. All right, so... Uh, you want to get you go in there and our retreat? Uh, so far, they're quite dormant. Mm -hmm. Yay, I'm at full hit points. Yeah, I got a three on that check. Oh, yeah. Uh, you see there's uh, some pouches to your mm -hmm. left. And inside there, there is a, a lot of grain mm -hmm. and oats and stuff. 
Mm -hmm. Lizards apparently eat a lot of that, maybe. It's quite a bit there. Yeah. I'm going to probably pocket some, just in case. (laughs) Pocket some. Okay, yeah, there's a little bag there if you want to take, like, a couple pounds, five pounds or something. That's a, you know, nice little uh, popcorn bag. And it's, they're, they're big animals. That would be probably quite a quick feed. Uh, okay, so Tanriel, or Kyle, you're watch these guys go off. The battle's just ended. There's corpses everywhere. You guys have been kind of poking your nose around looking. You found the entrance to the forge, and there's a lot of steam coming out of it. The river itself is almost kind of tepid. Uh, it comes out of the mountain from another mm-hmm. hole. And yeah, you're some of you are a bit nicked up and whatnot. Brother Merrick and Kapuna are kind of just hanging around watching cautiously. Mm-hmm. Uh, a couple of three people have went off to go investigate. There's five or six giant lizards penned up in the side of the mountain, beside this little kind of village. And these poor saps, I'm not sure if they you guys want to loot anything or just leave it. Do they have anything yeah. worth looting? <laughs> well, it'd, it'd take you some time to go through the village. Yeah. Damn it, nope. Drop the D4. If you, uh, I'm not sure if time's a huge issue. You guys are... Like, kill, killed time. everything so far. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with looking through the village to see if they have anything worthwhile. Yeah. Okay, the hut, okay, the hut doors are low and the interior is somewhat squalid. Um... Mm-hmm. They seem to live side by side with their little horses, and inside they contain only straw mattresses and ceramic bowls and some gnawed bones and fruit rinds and so on. Mm-hmm. And you spend about 10 minutes going through, through the village and you're pissed off after a while. You just, damn it, Ugh, come out with fleas. Ew. <laughs> Spent 10 minutes and only got fleas out of that. Yeah, basically. Got yourself some crabs. All right. You have to deal with that in the future. I know. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> sorry, no. I mean, you have to be careful. You think you yeah. did. You're like, ugh, crawling. <laughs> it's crawlies. Anyway, he's winched up the thing and you, you pocket this stuff. Uh, Sprite, Tadrail's with you. He just swallowed some healing potions. Suddenly you see all his heels mm-hmm. kind of, or his wounds, I should say, mm-hmm. suddenly close. And uh... I think Sprite's going to attempt on getting one of those lizards on his side. Uh. Okay, you can pick one. There's a, a small one to the left, or no, no, the big ones to the left that's got its back to you. Small ones to the right. The one that would cl- the one that would actually be able to fit Sprite. Well, obviously, the smaller one would. Yeah. It's a in that if you're thinking just straight ratio, I don't know if you if it's a like a size ratio backward ratio. thing. Like what would be comfortable enough for him to ride without it seeming too. At ridiculous. this point, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the smallest one is is a like a rhinoceros, right? All right. The biggest one's getting up to elephant size and mass. All right. It's a big lizard. Okay. Anything I have to roll to get this thing on my side? Uh, do you have any sort of? No, you're not a druid. I I don't have any. None of your spells uh, will do this. You just because in that case, I'm going to make it a difficult uh, try, like quite difficult. You, you'd basically use either your charisma or your wisdom, whichever mm-hmm. I'd, I'd let you choose. And then I'd say it'd be like a, a, a well, charisma is higher. A, yeah, it, I'd say I'll make it a very hard roll. It'd be like a, a plus ten. Okay, because you don't really have any background and. Oh, All wait, right. you are a gnome, though, right? I am a gnome. Oh, wait a minute. That that does change everything, because these things are bred as, yeah, mounts. Mm-hmm. Uh, that'll only be a plus five for your guy. All right. And you're going to use, now, how do you do this briefly? 
like you you have to go up to it i suppose you see that it's collared yeah. to the wall mm -hmm. and it's a simple it's not locked the collar yeah. is like a bridle yeah he's very much trying to like be cautious about this because he hasn't really done this before in a very long time so he's taking his time trying to get this thing acquainted with him and very much trying to make sure it's on his side with all of his actions so, uh, with, oh, so you, Chris, uh, you approach it then? Yeah. Chris roll with plus five then? Now you forgot about something. I'll give you one mm -hmm. quick chance to remember. Yeah. Besides so the fact that I'm a two foot gnome that's currently wounded, covered in blood? No. You guys want to give him a hint? Anyone else? Mm hmm. Uh, you're oh, okay. carrying a bag of their food, so you probably smell yummy. That too. No, but or, you do have okay. You do have a bag of their food. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, you, you could try months. feeding it and see if yeah, that makes yeah. it happier. Yeah, I'm just try everything okay. under the sun to get this thing on my side. So I was gonna say, if you use it as bait, as food, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, I don't know if you've grown up around animals or whatnot, you approach oh, yeah. them you know, with a bag of munchies. Mm -hmm. Um, they basically will go either go to it or or not accept you. Yeah. If they do, you pretty well befriend them sort of. No, that would that's gonna give you another plus one on your roll. So you're only be mm -hmm. plus four. Yeah. So go ahead. Well that's a five total. Well it's a nine then. You probably got that. I mean, one plus four. Pardon? It was a one plus four. Oh, wow. Well, then you... That's a crit pass. Mm hmm If you rolled a one. Yeah. Sorry, I uh, do all the math ahead of time. <laughs> well, let me know, too, if you roll a crit. Yeah. Because... You do have yourself a, a dear friend now. Mm -hmm. um, this is so ridiculous. Because I I'm gonna roll it now, mm -hmm. but it has to beat a one to kind of counter that in a way. No, well not quite it, but no, it rolls twelve. Um, so it comes over and it just assumes you're one of the handlers immediately. Mm -hmm. In fact. You've you you got a little bit of luck on your side that mm -hmm. one of the gibberlings you killed mm -hmm. is the blood that splattered on you. Oh, it's and so it's, it smells that. And oh it's like, god! Oh. It's like everything's normal. It's normal. <laughs> or perhaps, and you have yeah. this, this thing. Uh, uh, just it's it goes down expectantly, mm -hmm. and. Uh, you notice it's collared just with a simple latch that comes undone mm -hmm. and there's a leader and there's gear there to harness and yeah. saddle this thing. Preferably I'm going to try and harness and saddle this thing. Yeah, but you don't know, really know what you're doing. Have you ridden horses and I'm sure you know? I've attempted to ride horses before, but it's not exactly <laughs> normal for a gnome to be on top of a horse. And so it'll take you some time to figure that out. At this point, like, literally, it'll take you at least an hour. Well, at this point, it would be a perfect time for Tyrath to lean over to Terriel, or Tonriel. God, I cannot say Jeff's character's name to save my life. It's okay. Um, and just quietly start trying to pass gold between them on bets on how far he's going to get flung when the thing bugs. <laughs> I'm got... essentially going to be riding a rhino-sized lizard. Well, well, and you, you could get some uh, uh, help or mm -hmm. somebody to assist, but for now, I was going to say, it's like I said, it's going to well, take you half an hour. The half-orcs have them way too much fun. Yeah. So this one, you're just like waiting for it to buck me. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I'm prepped to trying to, you know, be ready if it tries to eat you, because... Now, if she tries to eat you, that's a different story. But running, yeah, throwing you would not be beyond this realm of possibility. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're you're I small, will. and you can try to figure out all this gear, but it's beyond you. You're lost. I'm, I'm going to commit the time to figure out how to harness this thing. 
<laughs> now the, the moments are ticking by and the rest of you are kind of watching you're just going i can't believe it you watch this little gnome kind of just saunter up you feed this little creature he looks so tiny he's only two feet tall he's he's smaller than this thing's ear <laughs> it's like a tyrannosaurus rex no not quite but <laughs> it's quite something and they're munching away and mm -hmm. it appears he's trying to figure out the harnessing and gear and mm -hmm. the rest of the animals are just kind of sniffing and shuffling around all right it he's going to take a long time to do this yeah okay well i don't have any idea how to harness a lizard so <clears throat> i'm not sure i know how to harness a lizard where is brad the uh <laughs> the ranger ranger exactly well ranger brad does actually have some Man. experience with uh riding and he comes to assist you now if we both make a roll mm -hmm. he'll assist you and yeah, first of all we'll see if he can approach the lizard without trying to kill him uh lizard doesn't quite like him <laughs> Could be one of those things where he tries to supervise from a distance. Okay, you have to make uh, Nestor. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, the lizard's agitated mm -hmm. at Ranger Brad, and Ranger Brad realizes like the thing snorts. It's like a you know beast that doesn't like him, mm -hmm. for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. And you have to make a either a wisdom or a charisma roll, whichever yeah. suits you. It's going to be charisma because that's my highest stat. In terms of like now, what do you try to do? Try to like calm it down. Try to not have it kill him on sight, sort of thing. Where it's like stop half half friend. your food's gone. Half that bag of food's gone. By the way, yeah, I'm just gonna try and you know get this thing under control and not try and bite him in half. Okay, go ahead, roll then. Either charisma or wisdom. Okay. God damn, another crit one. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's awesome. Um I, wow. I am not replacing this D20. Never. And Ranger Brad just is down low and the, the beast immediately stops it at your gestures. You seem to be quite natural with it. Mm -hmm. Wow, lo and behold, um it again looks very odd, but it works. And the thing's making out a bit of a purring sound, rumbling sound. Mm -hmm. And it's huge. This thing is, like I said, probably weighs about four or five thousand pounds. Yeah, it, I, I get the picture. Of this thing's pretty big. Yeah, big two foot, yeah it, no. it could accidentally kind of shuffle over, <laughs> spear you against the wall. Uh, but it seems to accept Ranger Brad with that. Uh, mm -hmm. He stands up again. Is like, holy! How did you do that? I, I wish I knew. <laughs> Just yeah, crack the knuckles, <clears throat> and again the little gnome impresses everybody with its his uh, animal handling. Surprisingly, so, while this has been happening, everyone watching the valley it just it's constantly filled with the steam. Vis visibility is pretty low, mm -hmm. and it's filled with the scent of blood and death. There is quite a well-engineered yet simple uh, ten-foot-wide bridge that goes over the the stream. Mm -hmm. and into this dark tunnel that Im immediately veers off to the west. And right. you can... Uh, Somos is kind of lingering around and Tyrath is there. You've been there for a while, Tyrath, right? Yeah, Ty well, Tyrath has kind of been watching everything that's going on, hey, but yeah, hey, he keeps hey, drawn back to the tunnel. Okay, you're watching that entrance and you're just, hmm, no, make a... Uh, Either wisdom, um, you can choose between a, a wisdom or dexterity. Seconds, because I need to grab my dice and I'll make a wisdom check for you. <laughs> wow, you don't have dice? <laughs> yeah, well, they're across the room. I was a little preoccupied. Uh, no, that's all right. I'm, yeah, I'm just teasing. Of course. <clears throat> you will die if you do that again. And I have a wisdom of 16. Do I mean like to set a plus anything, minus anything? Nope, nothing. Oh. 
Oh, my dad's hate me already. 18 over 16. Gotcha. Ah, and there's just a lot of steam coming out from that. You can just make out the curve, but you're not sure. And you, there's, you think there's just a sound of, it must be just the steam pressure, right? Just yeah. coming out. And it's, it's going to be, yeah, not a pleasant place to go into. Bearable though, you're looking. It's yeah, and you smell. You've been sitting there smelling because you're thinking, oh, it's poisonous or it doesn't smell nice. It's really sulfuric, right? Like you know, rotten eggs, boiling rotten eggs. Yeah. Uh, and then some time has gone by, and you're looking back, and you, you just make out where those guys went. You're not sure if they're okay or not. Everything's been quiet. There's corpses all over the place. Uh, That's and like about guess. twenty. 20 minutes has gone by and you've been kind of down on a knee, just kind of resting after the battle and looking mm -hmm. at that entrance. And you thought you heard something, but no, it's just the wind. Uh, yeah. Who else? Uh, Jeff, you're, you, after taking that healing potion, you just watched the gnome for a while. You're just like, no way. He's not, he did get eaten. You owe me five gold pieces. Yeah, pretty much doing the the same thing, watching the uh, the gnome and the the valley with Tyrath. So, okay, make a. Uh, actually, I'm, you only get a dexterity, but yours is a plus ten. Okay. And and I I do these things because you're different places and you might sense different things, and the odds may be way different. So you said dexterity plus ten. Yeah. So a big penalty. Well, that's a one. So <laughs> did you say stop rolling once? You're still in all my luck. The luck, the karma has to go somewhere. Yeah, that's true. It has hmm. to funnel from where Eric's luck has to go somewhere. Right. Very you you might have heard an echoing flapping sound in, down the valley and then it was gone lost in the sound of the steam and the yeah there you could have swore there was something that was way up there way up there flying but now it's gone <clears throat> oh great flapping and you listened for a while you were there for a couple minutes because you're like what what you're looking up and then Hmm. Okay, it's gone. So nothing, huh? Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. But mm -hmm. And I'm just still waiting for Brad or Eric a bit before we move on. So about 45 minutes goes by and Ranger Brad and Sprite, you've got this lizard... Uh, you figure, you think you've got it figured out. Okay, both of you make... Dexterity, mm -hmm. or what would be, uh, I'll let you choose either uh, Dexterity or Wisdom again to see how well you Fire. assemble and buckle this mechanism on because it's so big and stuff. It's like putting a harness on an elephant. All right. I've got probably the highest Dexterity. Mind you, the girth isn't like that. It's more elongated. This thing is probably 25 mm -hmm. feet long. I'm fine with that. An elephant's more like 12 feet, I guess. I don't know. Well, that's another nice. critical one. Shut up. I wish I, I wish I was lying. I don't fight you <laughs> for a reason. That's amazing. Okay, um, you love that die now. When we get into combat, you'll hate that die. Yes, you will. That, and I got to love you. Ranger, now you're, you, you find yourself scrambling over top the beast and mm -hmm. finding footholds in its elbows and nooks or haunches or mm -hmm. whatever you call them, and grabbing onto things and pulling yourself up. And it kind of mm -hmm. has a smell, all right. It's like a big lizard. and But you're like, ah, I think it's right back here. And you're grabbing buckles. And after about 35, 40 minutes, it's all clicks in place. And you you find yourself standing there on the top of this thing, and it's dormant. Mm -hmm. And you've got the, you've even got straps coming back. Mm -hmm. And the straps are kind of put through these uh, ingenious little nicely made by the way everything's really nicely made the tack is not made by these creatures it's made by master clearly, clearly whoever outfitted these people 
were far superior to craft and these scribblings. Oh yeah, yeah and these they they were just underlings. Mm-hmm. Convenient underlings, and lo and behold, this thing is dormant, and you got you're standing there, and it looks like you're supposed to sit on this harness mm-hmm. mechanism. Looks pretty straightforward, and pull on these right left sort of things, and mm-hmm. I don't know, you don't really ride horse, so he will now attempt to ride it out of said cave. <laughs> Well, uh, now Ranger Brad's like, okay, now these are the straps for the right and left. Okay, now in a horse, you pull them both back and it mm-hmm. stops. Don't, and be careful though. And uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. Usually we have stirrups to get them to go. I don't know. And you sit down into the harness. Mm hmm. And grab the like you grab the reins. He's like, yeah, and you pull them up, mm-hmm. and you're sitting there. What do you do? Attempt to drive. And he's, he's backing up. Out. He reins your Brad. He's backing out of the tunnel like he's backpedaling. He's like, oh man, I don't know, I don't know. And the thing kind of it actually right now make uh, either charisma or wisdom at plus five. All right. I'm gonna roll roll for Ranger Brad to see what he does actually to see if he. All right. <laughs> oh boy. Two, two plus five. A seven. Uh, so what do you do? You see it, it the thing shuffle a bit to the left and rumbles, and you kind of move around on the thing like holy crap, like you're jiggled around the top of this hill. Yeah. Just you know. Things just following hold. Ranger Brad, like it's watching Ranger Brad as he's backpedaling toward the exit. I just sort of have him lead this thing out. Just sort of like keep going and just keep. No. It's like someone's trying to direct a plane out of a hangar. That's sort of what he's trying to do here. He's trying to direct a plane out of a hangar sort of thing. He out of nowhere, he comes up with two torches. <laughs> well, Ranger Brad is just like easy, easy backing up. Now you're you seem to be in control. You you're holding it and and mm-hmm. uh, it won't move. It just sits there. And Ranger Brad's just around the corner watching carefully. Treat it like Homer Simpson and his and his uh, sled dogs. Work, <laughs> work, work. All right, let's try. Is there anything? Am I gonna have to roll like intelligence to get this thing to move? Yeah. Well, think of what, you, what could you do to make it go? Probably actually treat it like a sled dog. We'll see. I, I'm, I'm just gonna just gonna try oh, experimenting. See what there he can do. is. A little mechanism behind you on the uh, it's a strap to the harness and whatnot. Mm-hmm. It's a short whip, it's about oh, a, three it's a foot crop. long stick, a riding crop, sort of. Yeah, all right, he's going to attempt to use said riding crop. Uh, okay. Okay, now give that a try. Either, yeah, we'll try dexterity. Roll now. All right. All right that's a three. Well, the dice are with you. The force is with you. Uh, I was going to ask one of you guys to share the screen, actually. But And the thing, yeah, lurches forward. And you hold on, and you're riding it. I am going to attempt to get this thing out of said tunnel. Yeah, and Ranger Brad backpedals out, and you ride outside with this thing. Mm -hmm. Direct it, it turns, it follows your commands. Mm -hmm. And everyone backs up into the village. It's like, holy, holy. And it comes out and sniffing left and right, but you're you're in control. You're way up there, probably about seven feet Mm -hmm. off the ground, just like waving around. You had to duck underneath the portcullis. 
Mm-hmm. Um, actually, how high did you raise that? All right, well. Just enough for like everybody to be able to get through. Lux, with okay. you, uh, okay. you managed to hold well, on. Let me, let me pause Nestor here for a second. Mm-hmm. Everyone includes a six foot five half one. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to make you make a dexterity check because you do go underneath that park list and you underestimate it. Like, you were like, whoa. All and right. all of a sudden, he just goes under it and you're like, whoa. And I've been on a horse too when I've been riding and it, it doesn't mm-hmm. realize you're on it. <laughs> it goes like under some trees or something. You're like, ah. Yeah. Shit. It will knock you off. Horses are not <laughs> yeah. cognizant of other things. They're, they're very. All right. Angry. Well, the, the question is, is depends on the horse whether they realize you're there and do it on purpose. Hold on one sec. Roll that dex check. I'm here. Back. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. If you want to know how much of a jackass horses are, just ask Christopher. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, my bad joke's out of the way for the night. <laughs> I, my only response to that is a... By the way, Jeff, I thought you'd like that meme I sent you. I did. <laughs> I am over here, like, amazed at the fact that uh, Cyberfrog is at almost $342,000. Yeah, that's because it's EVS and everyone's sick of fucking Marvel. Did yeah. you see that dumbass this week come out and tell tell the customers their code of conduct and what they were going to do when they bought comics? Yeah, that's, okay. the fir- that's the first comic person EVS has said to officially boycott. So, Sprite, do you make that dex check? I, you probably did. Nice. He's got good dexterity, I think. Though, Unless anyway. he rolls a 20. He has to roll a 19 or 20, doesn't he? Because he has an 18. 17 dex, yeah, he's got. He's, got, he's only got a 15% chance to fail. Oh, and he, oh, he's gone. All right, so the rest of us are still, you got one place left to go, and it looks like you can't really slog up the stream. It's like low, it'd be hell, and who knows. And you see this lizard come out, and we'll see if it has a gnome on the back of it or not. Because <laughs> if it doesn't, it might just attack Ranger Brad and Tanriel. Uh, probably not. He did a pretty good job. Like, wow. He rolled a ma- I was going to make it like really hard. I'm like, okay, you want to tame one of these lizards? <laughs> and it's not going to eat you? A little mm, two-foot little soft... Well, not soft, but but anyway, uh, I could roll for him. Shouldn't do that. Uh, Rodent eleven. So you see Sprite come out, and he looks majestic, like some warrior. He's blood splattered, and he's riding this giant lizard. And he stops it outside, and the thing looks around and sniffs, and it's everyone's like, no way. Oh, that scared the apple loving hell out of me for a second. Yeah, it's almost so, um, Tyrath. You spin around and like, what? You're no, ready I to actually, fight? I, I thought I heard somebody talking down the hall and, because it sounded like muffled talking through my headphone, and it's my fucking washer drain. <laughs> Oh, well, that's better. <laughs> well, that's you can settle down. Uh, so you guys, I guess he's got the mount. He's got it. Brother Merrick goes back toward the bridge. Ranger Brad heads, heads back toward the bridge. And so Tyrath, you tell them, I guess, about the wings you thought you heard. Yeah, I definitely will tell them anything I've discovered. I like yeah. to live. Well, and Jeff heard yeah. something distant, yep. way up their eye, above the clouds or above the mists. Yeah, way up there. Apparently, Nestor's dealing with his dog. So, okay, I'll just kind of run him along. So, you guys are all assembling around this bridge, and Capuna's uh, hanging out back there, and uh, Tyrath, you've got the star. We'll see. Yeah, well, with Samos not being here, I'd be the best person to have it. Yeah. Okay, Samos going to go back, take up rear guard action because he's like, I don't like the sounds of beating wings. And being a dwarf, he's like, 
I sense some sort of, yeah, it's a place of lizards and flying things. Place of lizards. I like that. <laughs> lizards or wizards. Hey, wizards and lizards. There. Yep. So who wants to go first? Um, Tyrath will take up the run. Okay, Tyrath's first. Ranger Brad, he's going to pull out his bow and just be right behind you. Brother Merrick's going to go with you because he can look for traps. And Kapuna is going to take close second. Sprite, where, okay, he's not here yet, so he's a fighter. How, what the hell he's going to, he's going to have to leave Lizard. It's kind of too big in here. I don't know if he'll be able to control it. So it's like a, trying to take a horse inside, right? Well, actually, it seems quite dormant. Actually, I'm wrong. <laughs> it completely seems at ease, and it just takes up position behind you guys, and he kind of shrugs at you guys and goes, what the hell? And I'm going to uh, take a quick look, see if you have a light crossbow or something. I think he's proficient in light crossbow. Yeah, uh, he's got the repeating crossbow. So he'll pull that out. And anyone else want to do anything to get ready? Uh, I will take out my bow. You know what? I don't know what third level spells a cleric gets in first edition. <laughs> oh, they got a couple of nasties. Yes, they do. But I don't, you know, I really need to get a hard copy of the uh, Unearthed Arcana. Well, I really do need a hard copy of that book. All right. Uh, and you guys go across the bridge cautiously and head. Troy Spencer's trying to pick a fight with me. Difference between living in Nova Scotia and living in, living in British Columbia is <laughs> you've never tried to pick fight with me, Darren. Right. <laughs> Troy doesn't know how not to. Okay, hey, this tunnel was built by yeah, Snurp Doblin perhaps and but it's been neglected. There's debris and areas that have just kind of chipped off and fallen and parts of the ceiling have fallen in. They're they're not too concerned about keeping up appearances. It's just functional, I guess. That's good enough. The lizard seems at home and goes right along. And you guys, this thing snakes around the corner. Oh, we got some spillage. And you come to a door, and it's a large iron door. Not locked or anything. Hmm. Do we hear anything behind it is the first question. Okay, everyone quiet. And it's everyone's making a lot of noise. Like lizard, I, lizards I'm shuffling making, around. I'm making uh, a ton of it myself. <laughs> yeah, everybody's clang, clang, clang. clang. It's, uh, you'll have to make a... Uh, anyone have a hear noise? Yeah, I do not. Okay, Kapuna kind of comes forward and she tries. She's like, shh. Okay, she's going to make a charisma check to see if she can get everyone to shut up. And she can't. Oh, wait, her Christmas is pretty good. Let me have a quick look. Her charisma is 12. Nope, okay, not good enough. So she can't, but she still gets a roll, but just she doesn't get any bonuses or anything. Ooh, but she does. <gasps> she goes, listen, listen. And you guys can hear sort of a clink clinking sound. Uh, it reminds you of, you remember seeing a mechanism once that it was somebody winding a clock. And then everyone's listening for a second. There's a second of silence. And then all of a sudden there's a bit of a. <laughs> and she's looking at you guys and. Uh, I. I do not know what makes these noises very strange. It's re sort of repetitive. You can hear it. it's got a sequence to it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Not sure what to do here, buddy. <laughs> so it sounds like there's a machine ahead. Okay. I mean, part of me wants to kick in the door screaming. Part of me wants to kind of be a little so, more subtle here. It's Brother Merrick. Well, you guys got a noisy group, right? Yeah. Uh, so Brother Merrick, he shrugs at you and he reaches up and you see that there's a, a rusty mechanism on this iron door with the rusty hinges. And he just kind of carefully kind of click and then he puts some oil on the hinges real quickly of the door and then he slides pulls it open about two feet three feet pulls it right open and then opens the door entirely okay what's well, inside the door got one cat falling off me and clawing and another cat clawing even <laughs> once up as the door swings open, you see an empty hall. It is grand but plain, uh, with walls, ceiling, and floor polished into metal-like sheen. It's actually, this floor is remarkably clean. In the center of the floor is an oval metallic dome about eight feet across, and it looks very strange, and it's emitting noises. It's kind of going clink, 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 and it's moving, and it's moving toward you guys, and it's clink, 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 and then it stops. And some steam, or what looks like steam, kind of shoots out of a couple holes sticking out of it, orifices. And it looks kind of like a turtle without anything sticking out, just a domed shell. It's pretty big. It's probably eight or ten feet along. Clink, 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 clink. And then it stops, and it backs up and goes to the other corner of the room. Clink, 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 clink. It's an early, it's an early version of the uh, backing robot. Quick, eat it. Boys, <laughs> those things are evil, dude. They're gonna get sentience. That's gonna be the start of the T one thousand line. Okay, there's a door in the strange, two doors in the strange room. Hey, that brother hey. Merrick, he's like a door across, a door on the other hey, side. Stop it. Can't bite my. You can't. And bite he kind of he goes to slip into the room. And can we, nice. what is the, this thing? He looks at you guys. What do you guys want to do? Uh, I don't know. Can we tell what it's doing? Is it just wandering back and forth? Or does it look like it's got a purpose? Just man. wandering back and forth. Thank you, man. Rambus. It takes about uh, eight, ten seconds to complete its little jaunt. It, it goes clink, 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 stops, psh, emits a bunch of steam, and the room's full of steam, and it, there's an acrid smell of a very strange smell you might not have ever smelled before, but it reminds you of like a burning oils, uh, strange burning things like alchemy stuff. And yeah, it's doesn't this kind of makes you cough a bit. And Brother Merrick waits until it, it comes to your side, stops, and then it goes back, and then he, he slips quickly across the room and hides. <laughs> in this nook tries to hide does anyone have a 10 foot pole somebody does i don't i don't uh we really need a 10 foot pole right now because i would really really like to focus in with a 10 foot pole okay we have to make a surprise roll everybody uh jeff you want to handle this Oh sure. Remember, higher is better. Well, higher is better on this, and I think you have better luck than I did. I did roll five. Oh Christ! Uh, well, then apparently we're surprised because I rolled a four. Okay, brother Merrick's hiding, but he turns at the thing, and it it stops its routine about halfway into the room, coming back, and that's different because it was just going back and forth, back and forth, back, and it sort of pivots toward Brother Merrick, and it might have sensed him or something, and out of a couple orifices in the front, I'll say, <laughs> these darts shoot out. And orifices on the left suddenly shoot out at Ty Rath. Oh, of course I do. That would be just about right. <laughs> Good thing I have a negative one armor class right now. And Brother Merrick gets to, because he's aware of this, he sees these darts coming, he gets to make his monk ability of a uh, dodge <laughs> missiles, but he doesn't have to. This thing rolled a 7 and a 10, so even with Brother Merrick's 5 armor class, 
That's actually that might be close. <laughs> Yikes, hold on, I need the light. So who's getting hit with darts? No, it no, just running. missed Brother Merrick. Um, just missed. Ty Rath, what's your AC? And Negative one. You just got worn. You put your shield up, and also some darts are projected from the side of this thing. Well, one second. Uh, that last 20 actually was too many. It was two darts at you. And But however, the 16 is close because these things have, they're very tough. Yes, they are, I'm sure. Or like level seven characters, we better be, they better be tough. Yeah, uh, it's a. I'm not saying, but this dart hits you, and you have to make a poison save. Oh boy, Nestor's on his way back, dudes. You took one point damage, and you have to make a poison. I did. All right, so. You sense that the tips there's a tingling uh -huh. sensation close by. He, he hasn't made his he hasn't made his roll yet. He was verifying that he took the damage. I took the damage, right? So hang oh. on. Okay, it's a ten. Is that a pass? No, that's not a pass. Okay, you are course. you are stunned as there's a shock. You feel this tingling sensation course through your body, right through your arm as this little bolt just nicks you. Just somehow gets through your armor and under your shield, hits your kneecap or something. Mm. I'm only and, having medium shields, so that's just this side of possible. So being stunned uh, means everything's like you're, you're minus, uh, no, they're plus four, anything against you. And you're slowed as well. Oh boy, this will be fun. Tyreth used to be an adventurer, but then he took a dart to the knee. <laughs> Don't joke about that. I'm in that part of I'm almost that part in Skyrim where you can find that guy. And Brother Merrick's like, oh curses. Look out, the guardian is awake. Uh now I'm gonna open up the turn order. Because this slowed, thing slowed now down. we roll for turn uh initiative. Turn remember, slowed is I can go half of my maximum speed, correct? Mm-hmm. And then um Stunned. I don't get any action. How long am I stunned for? Mm -hmm. Oh, let me have a quick look. Uh, all right. Getting my map all centered. There we go. Okay, this thing is called a Machine Bozorg. Hmm. Uh, That's a. That's, you know, words. <laughs> yeah, it's quite something. Um, just looking here to see how long or whatever. Being stunned means I can't do jack and shit until I'm unstunned. Yeah, which sucks because uh, we could use you. Yeah. Desperately. You are kind of a okay. damage dealer. Okay, so it says the fire darts which stun and slow... Mm -hmm. See the Snurf Doblin and the Fiend Folio. <laughs> okay, so. The Fiend Snurf Doblin Folio. So I have to look at my Fiend Folio quickly. Mm -hmm. I should add this organized. Now, is it under Gnome or? Yeah, it would be under Gnome, right? Yeah, it's Gnome, Snurf Doblin. I believe so. It's listed. Hmm. I think it would be that simple. 
This is a battle that no one can convince me otherwise. Now, Whereas... by the way, you I rolled for your ducking underneath the uh, park colas, mm -hmm. and you did so. I rolled yeah. a 12 or 11, I think. Yeah, and... my death is 17, so yeah, I would have made it. And this thing is totally okay with going into the cave and whatnot. Okay. And you're riding on its back, but you're near the ceiling. But you realize that it's built to accommodate this. Mm -hmm. And and actually the saddle and everything, you're a bit small for a gnome even. Like most gnomes mm -hmm. are about three feet tall. Yeah. You're about two and a half feet. Mm -hmm. But you realize, hey, this is built for a gnome. Like the Snurf Noblin are rugged, large mm -hmm. gnomes, but you pass. By the way, I can't find the Snurf Noblin. I think it is under S. Might be. Normally, they. I know in second edition, all the uh, sub races are listed under like it's like gnomes or Nevlin or dwarf Darrow. Oh, there it is. My version's glitched out. Um, Found it. <coughs> sorry, about that, guys. All right, sorry, guys. Um, okay, it says here. <laughs> If uh, the puff again, uh, will be stunned on the next round and slowed for the four rounds following that. Okay, so it's the first, so I'm only stunned for one round, but then I'm slowed for the next four. Okay, so okay. I'm stunned for five rounds. Uh, and or, your oh. armor has to make a save, it says here. Oh, oh great. Really? Because, you know. It carries a acidic. It says they're darts which contain an acid with each a three inch hole in armor. The real question is does it say that under the actual uh, monster that I'm hitting? Though? Yeah, this is a deep gnome. It's their. No, no, no. The, the equipment that just shot the dart at me. Does it say I have to make a save? Yeah. Because the only thing you had a second ago was that it was a. Uh, was a um, no you had to make your poison uh, you failed yeah. your poison yeah no, that's says, what I'm asking does your it, armor does has to make one yeah that's what I'm asking does it actually treat this what, what's the save on metal armor no oh, I just read it yeah it's uh no I mean I'm not trying to argue if I'm trying to double check make sure we're doing this right because <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not used to yeah six or over six over I rolled an 11 I'm okay now, it won't necessarily ruin your armor. No. Yeah, you can fuck it up pretty quick, though, if you're not careful. Yeah. <clears throat> so, but no, I rolled an 11, so I'm okay. We can keep yep. going. Mm -hmm. Ah, but you stumble back, kind of... Uh, dirty bastard. And there's... Capoon is there, and Brother Merrick's on the other side, and you're not sure how to fight this thing. Anyone got a plan? Oh, roll for initiative, actually. Fire, and lots of it. Oh, I rolled a five. You want me to roll? Sure, uh, go for it. Rolls. It's fine. Okay. I need a flashlight real quick. That's a six. Done. So you guys, this thing's slow and ponderous, but you're wary of these little orifices sticking out everywhere, and you can see there's a novel, a nozzle kind of swiveling on a bit of a little frontal turret on this mm -hmm. thing, and it's looking for a target. And it's got a, like a flange at the end, like a funnel. I'm gonna. Tr I've got an idea. Capoon is a thief, right? Yeah, she's terrified. She's back against the wall. What is that thing? And it's loud. The thing is like clank, 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 shooting off things. And yeah, she is though. She's like, what? Hmm. Okay, you got 10 seconds. I'm trying All to right. think spell could help me here. Okay, so... Do I have your, invisibility? Your turn yes. slips by. Yes. And you're, you're kind of crowded. And we're moving on to Kapuna. And she was looking at you kind of like like you were saying something, but she's she's got a dagger out and looking at that thing going, I don't know what to do, Tyra. Look at Tyrath. Are you okay? 
can't speak right now. He's done. <laughs> Somebody, we got a buzz coming through once in a while. You hear that? Zoom. You know what that could be? Seriously, could be coming through. That could be my goddamn washer. <laughs> Maybe. That might actually be a washer. Uh, Jeff, your turn. You see that there's some confusion behind you or around you. Let's test that. We took time to like re up spells and crap, right? Uh, not for a while. We had time to rest in between uh, the since the tower. Yeah, well, we had so we had time to rest in between that and coming over here. But if you've spent spells in between coming over here, they're gone. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I have more spells now, but I'm gonna magic missile it because it needs a magic missile. <laughs> I might have something. I'm looking through my. Can you see it? No. Uh, maybe. It's right here. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like an arrow, right? You can just have to see it. Like you're not going to yeah, hit any I friendlies, just... are you? Nope. Magic missiles only hit their targets. You can you can see so... it. So. Wow, that's a hard die to read at that angle. Um, <laughs> six points of damage. And let me double check real quick. Actually, that's just a hard die to read. It's it's dark green, and they didn't uh, put a secondary color on the numbers. So, <laughs> what'd you get? Uh, six points total. Okay, you hit it. And it hits the shell on the outside, and pieces kind of fly off. And you think you damaged it. There's big score marks, and there's a bit of a red pock marks on the side. And but it's still functioning. It's still making hissing noises. Okay. Mm -hmm. It does right. take damage, though. Apparently, but not. I didn't, it didn't expect to blow it up. <laughs> Tyrath, you were you're stunned this round. So I'm just kind of pissed off <laughs> as I realize I can't move. Yeah. Well, you can, but you can move like half your movement. You're not on stun. Stun. Oh, you're stunned. You're, you're done, eh? I believe that's how stun works in our first edition. Stun. You can't do anything. You're so, basically completely off guard. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm Ranger Bat goes by you with that sword plus one, and he's kind of oh, Tyrath, and he slips by you and. Shields you with his shield. Uh, he's not sure what to do either. What is such a creature? Some mechanical thing. And he'll come a bit into the room. And he'll try... Well, would he have his bow out? No, he probably would. No, he'd have a sword out. Underground, I bet your sword's much more of a shit. He runs forward and attacks it with his sword. He tries to skewer it in one of its orifices. Mm -hmm. Quite difficult. Uh, 16, that's pretty close. This thing has pretty good armor class, but that's pretty good for mm -hmm. a fighter. Oh, that's a hit. Just, because he has plus one to hit him. Plus one sword, and, and he, I think his strength is pretty good. Might have another plus one, so plus two. Definitely a hit. Mm -hmm. This bastard sword, and he comes in there, and he skewers it through one of these holes that it was shooting darts out of. And there's sparks and whatnot. And I just have to roll. It's a large creature. So that's a bastard sword. That's two die eight. Wow, max damage. 16. Wow, he just he drove his sword deep into this creature and sparks fly and the clunking sounds turn awful and it's spraying black stuff on the floor. Uh, boy, that's nine. He did nine, 21 points damage. Jesus. Jeez. This thing okay. is making horrific noises. It's it's squeak and it's turning violently on the left a little bit. Mm -hmm. It doesn't sound good. And uh, I'm gonna give Ranger Brad a roll, make it a hard one. Okay, he's he's trying to wrench his sword out of it. 
it's stuck. His sword is stuck in it. Okay. And it's so hilt stopped. deep, but he's done so much damage. You think there's some stuff, fluid flying across the floor, mm -hmm. screeching. Uh, has everyone gone this round? I think uh, so. Yep. Yeah. So it suddenly that flange thing shoots out a pile of steam, high uh, energy steam. Mm -hmm. uh, at either brother or Merrick, because actually uh, Ranger Brad was too close. So brother Merrick gets to make his uh, saving throw to see if he can dodge it, being a monk. Mm -hmm. Actually, he made that. Nice roll. Brother Merrick, he does this nice textbook cartwheel dive to the left mm -hmm. into the deeper part of the room and this thing shoots a big plume of superheated gas where he was it would have boiled him and it can shoot I think let me have a quick look a number of attacks okay it has two more darts but you he Destroyed one of its orifices, so it shoots one dart at Ranger Brad, point blank range. Darren, I'm going to step away for like 30 seconds. I'll be right back. Roger. All right. And misses. Hmm. Wow. Uh, roll initiative. <laughs> I'm rolling. Roll five. Uh oh. Stop rolling well. There's also a five. Hey, something. So you guys get plus one. This thing is kind of mortally wounded. It's flipping out. You see it's starting to spin and shoot darts everywhere. I warned you this was gonna be like the T one thousand. This is now Tyrath, you snap out of your stun and you're you're slowed though, and you're like, ugh, and this you feel the still this the acid going through your blood. It's painful. And I'm gonna give you wisdom check and Kapuna gets one because you're close enough. So you're reminded of fireworks going off when you were a kid. Really? Jesus H, mother of God. I need to roll under a 16. I roll a 17. And I rolled 19 for Kapuna, so neither of you do. So I'm going gonna, gonna to be right back. I'm going to turn on a light. Gotcha. So, Sprite, you're too far back. Tanriel, I'll, you're so far back, I'll give you a plus 10 intelligence roll just to see if you can figure out what this thing is. Plus ten intelligence roll. Ten real. All right. Back apparently. That is, if I can get my friggin' flashlight to work because it's so fucking dark. It's a thirteen total with the plus ten. Wow. What's your intelligence? Hmm? Is that a pass? Yeah, to figure out what this thing is. Well, no, you suddenly realize it's gonna something's going wrong. The shell of it's turning red hot. It's about to blow off, isn't it? It's gonna blow. From a meta standpoint, I know it's about to blow up. Tyrath on the other hand. It's probably no. gonna blow. I'm Spray just gonna no. stay put. I'm gonna stay put and Well Ranger Brad's up there. I'm just gonna be like, you might want to get away from that thing, sort of thing. Again, if I'm gonna watch uh, Sprite try to stop Tyrath and going out there, okay. around the ankles. And stuff. So you guys don't do anything. I need to kind of right. light. I won't be. And it kind of explodes with this. This fire shoots out sparks. The the, the thing ruptures and it, and it goes off with a sharp pop. And Ranger Brad has to make the same throw. Oh, and he makes it. Takes half damage. Takes five points damage. No live. Ah! And this thing just kind of quivers and it stops making noises, though, and it smells and there's it's a bit on fire and there's a little bit mm -hmm. of you know, smoke and stuff and you're just like, holy... I really like how you described that. <laughs> There's a little bit of smoke and oil and everything else. Mm -hmm. Ranger Brad, yeah. He's going to drink a healing potion. You better, because he probably got hurt. 
really bad in that explosion. Oh, I rolled an eight. Yeah. Look at that. That's good. Peter Brad's feeling a lot better. And everyone sidles into the room looking at this strange creature. And Brother Merrick's already checked out this door. Mm -hmm. And it is... Actually, let me have a quick look and let me double check. Make my way in. Or at least try and make my way in. Come on. Uh, yeah, Tyrath's going to come up and start poking around this thing. He doesn't really know what he's looking for, but he's going to start poking around this thing. Yeah, it's an alien, weird mechanical device that these deep gnomes have built. Mm -hmm. Some sort of, yeah, sentinel. Uh, it's not a golem or anything like that. I mean, it's, yeah, it seems mechanical. There's no magic. Amazing. There's pressure under, a lot of pressure in there and mm -hmm. weird oh, yeah. components. And <laughs> yeah, there just, was a lot of pressure in there. Exactly, and it's spewing out liquids. There's hoses and things. Does like, anybody happen to have like an empty vial? Uh, I've got some empty. I, I probably. Sh I think I've got like two for my healing potions. Now, are you are you still riding the lizard? Yes, I kind of need control over that token. Okay. So the lizard seems at ease in this chamber. It comes in here, ignores everything, and, and Brother Merrick's like, there's two doors. And he's already opened this door down here. Carefully, he's been taking his time. Mm -hmm. If I can get an empty uh, file, I'm going to try to collect what is clearly going to, I know is clearly oil, but my character does not. Yeah, well, it is oil. You, you would know that. You're like, yeah, this is some sort of oil. You can smell it. It's like, yeah, that's smell fine. that. Either way, I want to collect it because I want to know how this makes this thing run. Is there any unique mechanical aspects to this or magical aspects to this oil? So you spend a bit of time, Ranger Brad. Yeah, you have a few minutes. You can collect some and investigate. Now, you mm -hmm. can move your tokens around. I'm kind of moving you guys. Yeah. So Brother Merrick, he's gone down here, and he's like, I think this is the some sort of storage to sell uh, blocks down here. Gonna um, make my way down there towards Brother Merrick. Help him check that out. Yeah, he goes down and he opens up these doors one by one, and there's three chambers down here. Mm -hmm. And you found the storage rooms of some kind. It's long and narrow, and there's metal boxes on wheels and neat rows along each side. And each cuboid box is taller than a man. So, And they're stuffed with things like, I'll just kind of move this along quickly because Brother Merrick moves swiftly through these rooms. Mm -hmm. um, there's like flour, dried vegetables, salted meats, wines. Um, he looks carefully for, you know, like perhaps some treasure or secret doors. He's looking behind he, he doesn't see anything. Uh, I'm going to make it roll, actually. Hundred-sided. Elves have a one or two. Any elves in the party can roll six-sided. Negatory, sir. Gnomes can uh, roll yeah. six-sided. Let me Gnomes. roll six-sided here. All right. So you can check it out, but it's like five A, B, and C are all storage rooms of different types. Yeah. That's one, a two. Uh, you're pretty confident there's no secret doors. Like, All you're right. slipping around, and it seems uh, very functional, neat rooms. This is their larder for these deep gnomes, and you realize that this place is functioning and old and yet very eerily practical, and you haven't met any of these guys yet, but you're wondering, like, what kind of characters they are. So you're still on your lizard, right? Yes. Uh, Darren, I got a two, and I'm an elf, so. Yeah. Two of the gnomes, so that'll be a thing. No Apple, secrets. Apple no try. secrets. Oh, except right. for. I am going to pocket, like, two bottles of wine. Actually, I'll let both you guys roll. 100 okay. sided die. Okay. Rolling. 
37. 70. Okay, one moment. Uh, you found a potion. Uh, that would be Jeff. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're not sure what it is. You can make a plus 10 intelligence check to see if you can decipher this Snurf Noblin sort of code. I don't think you've seen this type of potion before. Yeah, with a plus 10, I don't make it. It's a magic potion. You can check it out as you well. Uh, Nestor, and you, Nestor, what'd you roll? 70. 70. Oh, interesting. Okay. It's an oily substance you have, but seems magical as well. Now, you can roll a plus 10 roll. Okay. Unless you guys have a bat. Actually, you're a gnome. I'm a gnome. You're, you're plus 5. Okay. That's a s 2 plus 5, 7. It's it says oil of oil of slipperiness. And that's a four hundred XP value. It's a bit it it's essentially And roll for the other one. For his. See if you can read that one. For his. Yeah. Also plus five. Yeah. Okay. That's another seven total. That one's like potion of Wow, roll a 20-sided die. Interesting. Four. Okay, well, that's not your roll you wanted, but that, whatever, it's a potion of hill giant strength. Mm, hill giants. If you would have rolled a 20, it would add storm, storm giant strength. Mm. Sure. Well, you know, I want a 26 strength. Come on now. You want so it? So you can have 19 uh, strength. Yeah. But how long does it last? It doesn't last. 20. All right. So what? You get like plus four to hit and <laughs> plus seven damage. It's like crack. Yeah, I know. But it's, I'm trying to remember how long that actually lasts. Eric's so at keep, the hospital. So keep that in mind. You find a couple of potions, nothing else. And the other door, Brother Varric's already moving over there and checking it out for traps and... All these ones are very functional, heavy iron doors built for security. Don't appear to be locked. I'm going to pocket like four bottles of wine if there's enough. Uh, if he found... Now, I'm thinking there's food in this larder. Lots of food. Okay. He said there was wine. There, I can get at least four there's bottles wine. of wine from there's here, right? Ale. There's some high end stuff. Uh, oh. No, not not high end, but just well made, Good. well preserved. Okay. okay, thousand thousand gold question: Is there orcish bloodline in here? Because they live underground. Doubt it. No. Oh. They're they're quite reclusive. Oh, he makes me sad because I wanted to get trashed. Um, however, I am going to raid the food larder. Anything small enough to in the backpack? Just taking four bottles. <laughs> See, Sprite's like, I'm going to be really careful. I'm just like, can I take a shelf? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Nestor wasn't here for the last time we found a food barter, was he? <laughs> so Brother Merrick, he's opened the other door, and he's just waiting, watching. He says, it smells different. There's something up, there's something up here. I'm going to go with him, check it out. Hey, hey Darren. Since mm -hmm. Nestor wasn't here the last time we found a food larder, Tyrath hears that there's food somewhere, and he is grabbing things, anything he can fit into his backpack. I wish I could control that fucking lizard. Backpacks are good backpacks. Hey, Brother Merrick creeps down this hallway, and up ahead you can see there's a large chamber, and it's lit. Bad news, fellas. By all okay. some sort of strange devices that give it an eerie sort of amber glow. Uh, I, I, Brother Merrick creeps up, and then he keeps, and he's motioning a sprite. Are you still on yeah. your lizard? Yes, I wish I could control that lizard. Oh, okay. I gotta get I, control. I may or may not get us caught, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> I am not being gentle right now. Hmm. Keep that. To be fair, you've got a gnome on top of a 
25 foot long lizard, so or I mean, subtlety is kind I mean, of out the window. Well, I'm in still plate ripping shells down to get to food. True. So, uh, there we go. Jeez, this thing has the same amount of health as me. Oh, did that work? Yeah. I'm okay, able so you, to... you should be able to drag, grab both at once. Yeah, I can grab both at once and then drag them. It's a big lizard. Uh, Brother Merrick, he goes to the edge and he goes, oh, look out. And then he holds up his hands and starts back up. And you see up ahead why, Sprite. Yeah. I'm a... there, are, there are like about three or four of these tank devices, and there's a big one. It must be like 14 feet long. Uh, you see I'm that. Gonna... just going to ready the repeating crossbow. And Brother Merrick's holding up his hand, and oh, there's, there's more. Look. Hey, Darren, I'll, be, I'll be right back. Good, sir. And it's going to move you up a bit more. Mm -hmm. Move. Now the whole room's lit up. It's supposed to be lit up. But let me yeah, quickly do that a minute. Oh, good. I'm a gnome riding a giant lizard wielding a repeating crossbow. <laughs> All right. There, can you see everybody? Yep. That's a, that's a lot of people. You realize that. Oh, shit. Now, Kapuna comes up behind you. He's like, what is it? And then all of a sudden, she shuts up. She's like, oh, let's get this big lizard ass out of my way. She's trying to get by your lizard, which is basically taking up the passageway. Yeah. And he, she's going to try to climb up on it. She's going to try and climb on top of the lizard. And I mean, I would have gladly moved out of the way if I could. She gets up behind you. And, says, and then suddenly she shuts up as she sees what the room had. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Ranger Brad comes up beside you guys and stretches out like a big, weird creature. <laughs> he sneaks up beside you guys, just creeping along beside your lizard. And he looks and goes, holy shit. Look. Tyrath comes back. And then you see this big lizard. He's big. Honk and lizard, and he's been ridden by this grizzled deep gnome, and these mm -hmm. the smells in this place are very eerie. And there's a great picture actually I should show you. I'm assuming it's easy to tell a normal gnome apart from a deep gnome, right? Yeah, you had yeah. Uh, yeah, and these guys just yeah. All right. Sniff Nerblin are bald and gray. Mm -hmm. So, all right, I'm two foot tall with blonde hair and blue eyes. Now the one comes forward and he speaks in a deep tome, in a weird guttural tongue. And now, Sprite, you can understand it. Mm -hmm. They're speaking, trying to speak surface gnome. With a really harsh accent. And then he switches to common. I am Warden Rogue. And the Guardian has made us aware of your presence. What brings you to the forge? I'm just like... Do we have a reason to be here? We come to trade? Yeah, we come to trade. I'm pulling like a very confused, like. Right, right, right. I sort of go with my usual response of like, we've come to trade. If you would like to, you know, partake in the transaction. Hmm. So you do not attack us. What do you bring to trade? 
What do we have to trade? We, uh, I have to ask here because it's been long enough. But did Shelfie know these people, or did he just know that they had the books that he was looking for? They have the books. It's should be straightforward. Okay. There's probably Please. seven of these guys. They're all mounted on lizards, like Sprite. They're all eye eyeballing Sprite. And I'm lizard. riding a lizard. <laughs> we come to trade um, a fallen star for some books that you have in your possession. Mm, there's a murmuring shuffle goes around the room. All right. And they talk in this weird whispering clitter. And you guys know the story. We built up to this long enough mm -hmm. and whatnot. And so they seem to be very excited. Show right. us the dark star. Who has the dark star? The pirate. Right he pulls it out, holds it up. And there's more muttering, and they're very excited. And what almost passes for sort of a grin, maybe close to a smile. And these, very unsettling. These tank creatures let off the odd little squeak and groan once in a while, you notice, a little squirt of steam, but they seem quite dormant. And mm -hmm. they were ready for an ambush. Like, they were ready to just go nuts and kill whatever was coming in here. And you guys can see that you probably wouldn't really have a chance. Well, who knows? You guys have been through <laughs> other but this looks bad you guys would have been effed up mm -hmm. and anyway uh that the warden guy relg he can summon like a, he had some jewels out you could see something sparkling in his hand when you first saw him he was going to uh do his deep gnome thing hey All hey right. do that deep gnome thing some summon an earth elemental if he rolls well, it could be like a 16-hit die creature. Yeah, let's not have him do that. So Brother Merrick's like, he's bowing, and so what is he saying? Does anyone else speak gnome here? Or no, he's <laughs> speaking common, Relg is. <laughs> so he, he comes, just, he, he dismounts this guy, and he's bringing it forward. Let me see. Can we have the orc bring it forward? Yeah, so, well, we can uh, have Tyrath take it up there. So Tyrath, he muscles by and brings it forward and gives it to this guy. And he just looks at it with awe. He goes, yes, let us all go. We will take you to the dome. There, we will show you. And you guys are okay, so I'm just going to move this along, sort of narrate. Mm -hmm. So suddenly, this, these large double doors over here open up with a resounding clinking sound. Clink, 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 clink. Mm -hmm. And these guys all funnel out. The tanks kind of go with them. Mm -hmm. And they, some of them do. There's one huge one and four smaller ones. And you're like, holy, these things are tough. But I'm going to move everybody down there. Mm -hmm. Now they take you to a strange room. And by the way, on the way here, they go by this tunnel. This, I'll move it. Hold on a sec. This room is like a huge smelter forgery quite high tech and you guys are quite mm -hmm. impressed you're just like what the heck is this mm -hmm. uh, as the door opens you're met by a gust of hot humid air and an almost deafening sound like a dozen massive brazen drums accompanied by an unnatural whines and hisses this chamber is huge, and the towers over you are massive metal contraptions moving like insane, distorted beasts and gouting bursts of flame and steam. They, these creatures seem to be completely infatuated with the orb, mm -hmm. um, and they're moving really quickly toward the other side of the room. And you guys are just taking this in, sort of like, holy, what the heck?
And let me double check. And I'm just kind of speeding this along. Uh, double checking, not missing anything. Two. Ah. They seem to ignore all the devices and, and seem they've a lot of them are dismounted and letting their lizards kind of wander off. They're just infatuated with this mm -hmm. this rock that you gave them. And you guys stumble up and around. They seem to move naturally around all this turning gears and pistons and stuff. And before you know it, th these guys are all And you're just following along, fascinated. I don't know, you guys can move your dudes along if you want. That... All right. And they come into this room, number 10, and there's a big glowing dome over top this uh, table. And when they bring the stone close, it disappears. And there's a stack of books there. Where do they go? Yeah, the room is flooded with multicolored light from a dome of swirling patterns in the center of the floor. And it looks like a prismatic spear. But mm -hmm. as soon as the, uh, if the shooting star is taken into the room, the sphere will vanish, revealing a neat stack of 20 leather round bound books. And these guys just shrug at you and they just point at the books and they just leave. I guess right. we take, take the, books. the books. Yeah, you're. you're uh, uh, wait a minute. Now, who's behind here? Now, Warden Relg was there. He takes... Okay, this guy's gone. This guy's gone. gone. I'm just moving whoever's gone here a minute. One second. That would be Tyrath is near the back. I mean, Kapoon is up here. Brother Merrick's up here. Tanrail, you're up here in the room. You're just watching, and you're gathering these books up. Now, Tyrath, is he back yet, by the way? He's here. Uh, yeah, I don't know if he's back. That would okay. be because you muted me on, on uh, Google. You didn't have to mute me on Google. I had myself muted on my mic, but either way. I was wondering why you guys couldn't hear me a second ago. Um, mm -hmm. You see that one of these guys is still back here. You see him over here? Mm -hmm. And you see he's he's down beside some gear, and he's wrenching on something, and he's muttering something over and over again. He's, ah, la, la, ooh, la, la, and he's going down there. Uh, this might be a time for me to walk over and knock him out. Okay, the machinery around you starts to make a erratic sort of harsh clunky noise. Yeah, I'm just gonna gather books that we traded for. You're just gonna grab the books. The rest yeah. of these guys run down this tunnel to the to the south. All of them, they just everything else forgotten. They just got this rock and they're gone. And yeah, you guys gather up all the books. It takes up a lot of room. You guys, like, there's 20 big books. You'll have to just... The tank, like, things just kind of go sputter mm -hmm. out and go dormant. It's really weird. They just buggered off. They're more interested in the star than us, which is okay with me. Ranger Brad comes forward and he's like, what is it? It's making more noises, and he's covering his ear now. The place is starting to shake and rumble a bit, and this guy's turned around, and you ran up and knocked him out? Oh, yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not resisting. He's just, he turns around, is benevolently muttering this mantra at you, ah, with this fanatic's look in his face. More reason to knock him out. <laughs> and you, poof, dummy him, and he goes down. <laughs> Ranger Brad looks at you. What was he doing? And you look and you see that he was turning this, cranking this valve, and he'd shoved like this rod in, into this in this mechanism. And there's a bunch of red lights blinking and sparkling, and there's it does you you're not sure what the hell is going wrong. But brother Merrick and Tanriel come running back, loaded up with books. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. It's not good. The the gnomes took off to the south. Let's just get out of here. I see. 
Yeah. I stand by my previous statement. Knocking this guy out was a good idea. They took off on you while he was chanting. I guess we make our way out. Yeah. Okay. So, and not that I meant to kind of narrate this, everybody, mm -hmm. but this part is basically, uh, I'm just for posterity's sake, I'm going to move it along. Mm -hmm. You guys come back into this room, and so you're not sticking around, which is probably pretty wise. Uh, you know, so whole place looks like they've probably set it to blow. Mm -hmm. And you come around the corner, and there's a bunch of pens with more giant lizards on your right. Fire on lots of it. <laughs> yeah, could well they're stuck in the pens. There's, you can attack them if you want, but they're stuck in these pens. You don't have. Oh, I, I'm just talking about this whole underground area. We have oil. Mm -hmm. we have an accelerant. I, I'm for let's just get out of here. I, yeah. I don't see this place might just blow up on its own. Yeah, yeah this is true. So let's uh, let's kind of maneuver on. Yeah, it's starting to shake and shimmer. The back room, like they've set it to blow. Mm -hmm. But you got the books, and you guys are mm -hmm. running. And also, under that sphere, you found a bunch of other items. There were some scrolls. I just imagine we pocketed everything in that room. Yeah, just... there was a potion, a jar, and a small stone. You guys, we can we can check that out when we're not in a place that might explode. Yeah. So you guys run back in the main hall where you met these guys, and it seems to be a lot more quiet there. But you're not taking any chances for now. You're not. Ooh, the whole place is shaking. There's horrible noises coming from that room, and there's mm -hmm. you feel concussion and kind of poof, go through the place so you're okay let's keep going mm -hmm. uh we'll see if it calms down and you guys headed out toward the main exit where you guys came from mm -hmm. now as you get to the tunnel who's in front that would probably be kapuna or somebody or the monk or somebody imagine i'm towards the back with the giant lizard i'm gonna kind of be in the middle coming up uh, pretty quickly behind everybody uh mm-hmm Everybody who's uh, up front in case they need to back up behind just somebody who can defend them. But give them plenty of room to find traps or anything else in our way. Yeah. Okay, so you're coming out with Kapuna and Brother Merrick's close by, and they're being a bit careful because they're coming out. And as you leave the mouth, the mouth of the tunnel, you hear a thin, blood-freezing cry and the baneful sound of leathery wings from the sky above. Lovely. Two Two red dragons, scales, ag aglister, are circling overhead. Their heads move from side to side, scanning the valley for prey. Even from this great distance, you can see their awesome bulk and huge gaping maws. Fortunately, they have not yet espied you. So you guys come out, like picture that, you're in the main entrance. You just came out about five, seven feet, and you could see him right away. <gasps> Look, and right away, Kapuna grabs Tyrath. Back up, you lout. Back up, look. Don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> There's two yeah, I, I'm the same fucking about... red dragons. <laughs> okay. Like I said, fire on lots of it, guys. Plenty of <laughs> alchemist fire is appropriate in this case. And I'll be right back because Rock is making an unholy amount yeah, of So we have to plan for this big time. And you guys retreat. You think they didn't see you. But they're curious. They're looking. They're circling above the village. They're looking at the carnage, mm -hmm. the destruction. And I'm going to have to see. That's why I muted you, Kyle. And I'll mute you again. Sorry, bud. Uh, so you guys retreat back to the room where you destroyed that thing. Mm -hmm. And you're all like, there's two dragons. Red dragons. They didn't look huge. I don't know how many dragons you guys have seen. But you've heard yeah. that there's different ages. I don't know what you guys would have for dragon lore, but you guys kind of know that there's big old dragons and younger dragons. These seemed like a young pair. They really glistened nicely in whatever light. And mm -hmm. so we're going to, there is a bit of time because you guys backpedal, retreat down the tunnel a ways. All yeah. right. By the way, I muted again, Kyle. It was banging and snapping around. Shouldn't be making any noise at all, not when I'm muted, but I'm not sure what that's all about. Hmm. Have to look at that later. 
So you guys retreated after seeing these two dragons, and you think you have some time, and you hear more rubbling coming from behind you. <clears throat> You're not sure if that's an option either, and it's making a lot of noise behind you. Can you feel concussions going through the mountain? So you're not sure how much time you have left here. You quickly look oh. at what you found, though, and you've kind of gotten a running bit of rugged knowledge of this deep gnome language because you're, mm -hmm. you know, it's a cousin language to your gnome language, Nestor. Yeah. So you can try to select what these items are you grabbed because you got a, a scroll. Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. Go ahead in. And some other knickknacks. So go ahead and start rolling. I'll get you a roll. Here's the. Uh, it's a scroll. Yeah. And you can tell this this is clerical. This one's an easy one. It's just going to be a regular intelligence check. Okay. I'm not sure one. Two. That'll give you bonuses on the other ones. Every time you get a success, I give it one more point. Better. Mm -hmm. This one, it's labeled obscure writings. And then you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's a prayer spell. On a, It's a cleric scroll. Handing it to the cleric. So cleric. You got a prayer spell. Now there's another scroll. Okay. Uh, this one you get a, another normal check. All right. That's another that's a three. And this is a magic user scroll of strength. Yes. yes. Okay. Oh, sorry. Gotcha, I'm trying, Kyle. I, sorry. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I think I know why I'm not. And fire shield. Look that one up. Test, 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 test. Okay. Well. I'm assuming and you I, want I know what it does. I, I looked these up before. There's a block of weird kind of uh, incense. Now make a roll. It's That's labeled it. Fakir Smoke. That's another three. It's an incense of meditation. Incense of meditation. Okay. That's and that will give... Cool. Yeah, I can give you a big bonuses for a day or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, another potion. Uh, this one says magical vitality on it. Now try to see if you can decipher what that means. Oh, God, Alex Jones is somewhere in the cave. <laughs> Two. Oh, I'm nailing it. It's a potion of heroism. Potion of heroism. Yep, so you can act as a higher level as you are. And All there's right. a j small jar, a real small one. It says war paint. Is it actually war paint? And... Uh, you're trying to figure it out. Make a roll. You've yeah. been on a roll, so I'm not giving you any penalties. You just it's critical you. one. Shut up. Okay, you have lying. now. You can. Uh, you can kind of understand deep gnome. Yeah. Roughly. As language, this is a jar of uh, Contum's ointment. Okay. Which is really, that's a handy item. All right. That's a powerful. Keep a One of y'all is keeping track of this, right? Um, somebody. I'm not. Yeah, I probably should put down the scroll I just got, but I just forgot what it was. It was a scroll. Prayer scroll. Prayer scroll. scroll. And then we've got a magic user scroll of strength, which so I'll take. Strength and fire shield. You guys are going to fight a couple dragons, okay? So when I come back, we're going to be fighting because you're going to. There's going to be lava coming through the mountain soon. Oh boy. That's it. That's it. Uh, yeah, that's it. Right. <laughs> what was the potion? The potion was what? Heroism? Yeah. Incense. Meditation. I need to grab my PHB so I know what spells I have available. Wow. You, Nestor, you should just put him out there. He's been nailing those. Yeah. By the, by the way, guys, real fast, we'll see if my mic stops picking up here because I changed my settings to potion. be on my headset instead of my fucking heroism. Uh, camera. That was Contil's appointment. Oh shit, Eric. He's at the hospital. Uh oh. Yeah. Hey, looks like I'm good. Yay. Okay. So now, now you shouldn't hear me when I mute my mic. I don't know what the fuck I. I didn't think about that. I had to uh, do another reset on my fucking Windows today. Mm -hmm. okay, and it now, screwed all that up. You guys got to pull out every buff you have for this next battle. This is a All boss right. fight. That's this is the I, culmination yeah. of this module. This is why I need to go look at it. I think I get eight at third level, but I don't remember. Think of these items you just got. They're, you got a fire shield, and it's mm -hmm. a fourth level magic user spell. 
You burn yep. that off, and it gives you a plus two saving throw versus fire-based items. And if you make your save, you, you take no damage. If you make it, it's like a monk, you take half damage. Mm -hmm. So if one of you can use that as a fire shield. Like, I mean, if you had to fight these dragons, there's two of them. I can't believe they put two of them in this module. So, Yeah. Uh, depending on their age category, this may be a fight, or this could just be a party wipe that's going to be extended. Yeah. Yeah, you guys kind of like I said, they didn't, they did, they weren't massive and ancient looking. Well, in my ring, I've got blur, paralyzation, and hallucinatory terrain. Anybody do me a favor and look in the uh, unearth arcana and see if I can aid. Okay, I'll be right back. Clear. Uh, what level? Third level. Can't third level can't spells. Third level or not? It's a good spell. All right, well, while he's running, I'm going to go do grab my ice pack real quick. Yeah. Like uh, we're, we're all feeling like we're falling apart tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except Nestor, who's oh, like yeah. 20. <laughs> right. I'm not getting rid of these dice. Ever? Never. I had to curse you like a bitch. Um, it's usually whenever Eric's not here, I tend to roll well. Because he steals everyone's fucking spell, everyone's lock, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is gonna be a bitch. Oh yeah. Well, I've got ten plus one slow poison bolts for that repeating crossbow, so that might help us. <laughs> you really think so? They're dragons. They can resist magic as well. Um. True. True. Core. Arnor Thracano, where are you? Well, I, mean, I know I've got more spells than 11 spells or 12 spells at fucking this level. Where are you? How is that list, David? I love people who think they know something that I don't know. Fighting Wheel, Compact Computer, Fiend Folio. I don't know if kind of there is. Now, if you would please load PDF. You're just trying to figure out if you get aid at third level? Yeah, and I got to remember exactly how it works in this edition, too. But mm -hmm. um, you, you always got to love when you lose a terabyte and a half of uh, information. Oh, yeah. It's always great. Yeah, including all your schoolwork. Oh, yeah. It sucks. Thank God that shit was on a server, right? Mm hmm. Let me tell you how much fun I would not have rewriting that entire paper. Oh, yeah. Either one of them. It would be the worst. Uh, cry a little inside. I've got spook. Ooh, spook. That's actually a good spell, believe it or not. Yeah. Spook on a dragon. It's really hard to spook a dragon. <laughs> be funny, though, if, I, if it was possible. I mean, it's possible you just get to roll high, right? Mm -hmm. But the real problem here is we don't have anywhere near. All right, back. We do not have a near enough uh, clerical spell. We got, we got you, you, you a ranger. ranger. It's a tank. I'm, not, I'm, I'm, tank. Tank. I'm not even remotely geared for this combat, or you know, uh, powered for it. No, well, not. Now mm -hmm. that I've got the scroll of uh, fire strength shield. and fire shield, yeah, we've got the Let's potion see. of hill drain strength. Yeah, that's going to go to whoever's the melee guys. So it's either going to go to Tyrath or Samus. Yeah, or Sprite if you want to go that far. But I doubt you want to give a gnome hill giant strength. Much funnier to watch a uh, half orc that's already hitting like a fucking truck do it. I do I'm a I do a minimum of four damage right now. I'm assuming you don't want to try and do a fastball special right now, do you? Okay, no. I, I have no. two healing potions. Mm -hmm. I'm not about to try that. And apparently, who needs heals? I've got three healing potions because I don't need to use them. Clerics, do you guys got like bless or chant or anything? 
I've got bless and chant. I thought I had three prayer that. scroll. We just got. Yeah. Well, my question was whether or not I picked up a. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, Brother Merrick had carried one that gnome out. Yes, he had. No. Oh, so we have an unconscious gnome with us too. Yep. Well. If nothing else, that sounds exactly like a chance to throw it into a freaking dragon. And watch <laughs> it, it might come in handy. Run. Slow him down well, for a bit. <laughs> while he's I've got that dome, I can already. run. <laughs> Don't ever hey, by the way, you see a bunch of red molten lava pouring into this room over here. Oh, Lord. We're going to die. All we're right. We're going to die. And it's pushing heat in front of it. It's like, ooh. Yeah, we're going to die, guys. You guys think you probably have about three rounds to prepare like something like a plan uh and i'll i'll be generous i'll right i'll uh give you guys you like, you're all i don't even go and fuck there's two dragons out there in about three minutes this room's gonna be full of lava all right let me see something how long will invisibility last for me okay prayer is basically chant that i don't have to keep up yeah Okay, illusionist invisibility. Right. How long does that last? And the thing is, you can you can do a chant sure. and still fight, but you can't cast other spells and stuff. No just, chant, you can't fight. You can't fight, fight uh, either. No, once the chant spell is completed, all attacks, damage, save those made by those in the area of the effect. Effect uh, mm -hmm. but penalties continue as long as the cleric continues to chant the mystic symbols. And any interruption, an interruption, however, such as an attack which succeeds and causes damage, grappling the chanter, a magical silence will break the spell. Damn. All right. Uh, you want me to do invisibility on the rogue Kapuna? That'd be fun. So oh. should survive this. So for a backstab <laughs> on a dragon? Go for a backstab. In case, in case we have to, you know, backstab yeah. a dragon. He's like, okay, and that lasts as long as she doesn't do anything, right? Yeah. As long Dragons. as she doesn't attack. Okay, make an intelligence check, everybody, for your dragon lore. To know what you know about red <laughs> dragons. Right. Yeah. Any modifiers or just a straight one? My, I think I got a fifty percent chance. No, it's a, yeah, it's plus five. Right, okay. okay. Oh wow, a fifty. So I already it. have a fifty-five percent chance to do this. So this is a good well. One. That was a one on the die. So if I know stuff about dragons, I know it. Oh yeah, same here. Okay, I I felt that on a fourteen versus a six. Okay, so. red dragons are evil and vile. Of worst of the kind. These mm. ones are young. You could tell they were not very large, but they're still deadly. You, you, you know, you go through now, you basically tell them about the dragon lore of don't bunch up. If they attack, mm. they have a horrible breath weapon. Um, they can now, you know, that they can sometimes sense if you get close to them, they can sense invisible things. And plus, be on your guard when you first see the thing and you confront it. You may have to make a roll to see if you can now. You're, you guys are going to get a bonus to this roll now. When mm -hmm. you confront a dragon, you have to roll to see if you're not affected. If you have more than four hit dice, you're basically at minus one. If you have one hit die, you run away. Or you're mm -hmm. catatonic with fright. And you guys are all kind of cluing in that this is these are real dragons, as in dra Dungeons and Dragons. Red dragons are like the... Uh, mm -hmm. Capital. So, what spells are you guys going to cast? And and the lava is creeping up. It's filling that room. And as it hits the stream, there's suddenly this explosion of steam. And Brother Merrick slams the door shut and locks it. Clink. I'm going to do like, that way. Is this locked, people, for good? I'm going to do Phantom Armor on Brother Merrick. Uh, the uh, I'm going to use that prayer scroll. Okay, man. Oh, what does that do, Brother Merrick? Oh, uh, Phantom, Phantom Armor. Armor? Yeah. All right, one second. Pulling it up. Illusionist. First and how long? Prayer. And you, someone you said was casting chant or prayer. I'm doing that. Probably use that prayer scroll. That gives us the effects of a chant, which is plus one to all of our saving throws and attacks, minus one to all their saving throws and attacks. All right. Now there's the magic user scroll that had a fire shield on it. Yeah. You have the magic I'm user or illusionist to cast that. Uh, mm. Sprite can cast that on himself, and that's yeah. only lasts for about I think it's a number of rounds per level or something, but it gives you big bonuses on the breath weapon. Is that um, now because I'm saying all this because or is that under 
uh, the a player's handbook spell or an Arcana spell? Uh, player's handbook. It's fire shield. It's fourth level magic user. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, personal, so you have to cast it on yourself. And uh, illusionist can cast it, so the gnome or you can cast it as well. Mm -hmm. Ten rail. And it'll give you plus two on your saving throw. And if you make a saving throw, nothing. The monk I can against breath weapon. The monk says, I will try be a moving target. If I'll draw a breath weapon if I have to. I can try dodge it. So it last a whole six rounds for me. Come on. It's in here. On Earth or can I? All right. Spell it. Okay, yeah. something hits the iron door kind of with a soft little th 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 over Same here. Same material. And the, the bottom starts to get a little red hot. All right, so he has AC3. For Brother Merrick. And okay. For each level of the spellcaster, the Phantom Armor will absorb one point of damage. Oh, nice. For each attack. So I'm a fourth level illusionist, so that'll be four points of damage. So I'm going to cast that on me because I'm squishy, the fire shield. Mm -hmm. um, so Brother Merrick now has AC3 unless the um, dragons disbelieve in it. So you guys have two more rounds, okay? And that's going to give uh, me. So I'm going to throw up my. Uh, you guys can screw yourselves. I'm going to touch myself. I'm going to cast Flame Walk on myself. I can withstand temperatures up to 2,000 degrees and gain a plus two bonus to saving throws against magical fires. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm also going to do... And did you cast that prayer? Yeah, cast prayer. What, what's range on it? I'm going to give you an aura. Hang on a second. It's, uh, let me double check real quick. It's in the player's handbook. 15 or... What, what yeah, level is strength? I'm also going to do invisibility on Kapuna. Prayer. prayer. Oh, that's a fourth level spell. Sorry. I'm looking third levels. Uh, six inch radius. Oh, yeah, right. Oops. So you're drinking the the ocean of giant strength, right? Yeah, that'll be the last thing I do. Mm -hmm. First, I want to get I want to get us all in a prayer. Then I want to get flame walk going, and then I'm going to drink that potion. Yeah. What's what's uh? Oh, so I'm going to need control of that lizard again. For some reason, it's not working. What's Brad the Ranger's strength? Oh, I took the wrong one away. Sorry, man. Uh, all right. I seem to be able to control it. Yeah. Oh, that's a, that's a shame. Okay, well, try one of these two. I'm going to cast, cast uh, strength. Can you move on. which one you have? I'm going to put probably with the one that's... Okay, you're still mean. on the mount. Now, what weapon? You still have your repeating crossbow? That's what I had for you. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Yeah. You guys have one more round. You see that iron door starting to buckle and heat up, and you can feel the hey, heat coming. Around. Darren? Before we go to the last round, because the last round or is no, going to be... We have two more rounds. One. Yeah. Uh, before we go to the, the last round, because the last round will be where I actually cast the, the scroll on myself, mm -hmm. um, just so I get the, as well, the duration as much as possible. Um, I'm going to cast uh, Strength on Brad the Ranger. Brad the Ranger? <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to use the Potion of Heroism? Or do you want to Tyrath use that as well? And that gives him plus uh, one die. Eight, yeah. I roll five. Okay, so. And then if once he hits 18, it's it's 10 percentages per point. Okay, Somos is also going to cast uh, protection from evil 10-foot radius. All right. Kapuna will now be invisible until she attacks. So if you get close enough to uh, Somos, you get the benefits of a plus two on your AC. Okay. Oh, oh. God, I'm AC two. <laughs> oh, my God, for lower armor glasses. Um, yeah. Now, Tyrath has the effects, if you're in that, his orb. Of plus one to attacks, plus one to saves. Yeah, so if you're close to Tyrath, that's what you get. So remember, you got to move like units. This is going to be a tight combat, very strategic. Mm -hmm. And you guys are good. Well, we'll see. I'm curious because I've fought dragons in D&D. They're rare, but... Yeah, they are a pain in the ass to fight. Okay, so second round is almost over. Doors heating up, buckling. Um, Puna's got invisibility. Merrick's got his phantom armor. Oh, yeah, Kapuna. I got to get a thing for Kapuna. Where is she? 
Oh, there she is. And I'm going to do mirror image on myself. Oh, nice. So that'll be... So do you want to make your... Who wants to be the one who confronts or perhaps has to take, you know, one combat? Duplicates. You're going to have to fight these these things. I'm going to roll Oh, one I forgot. The gnome wakes up suddenly. Uh, oh, and he rolls up and turns and he's this red-headed gnome and his top's bald, but he's got a little paunch of red hair that goes around his head like a monk bowl cut. And All right. they, they have no beards, which is creepy about these guys. And he's All got right. these so weird underdark eyes and he's looking at you guys in terror. And he's looking around and he's looking at a situation and Brother Merrick's like getting, just getting ready to punch him in the head. And he's putting his lips to his mouth. Yeah. You there speak. are now four duplicates. Sprite, Sprite, you speak yeah. their tongue. Yeah. I'm like, I ask him, do you speak common? In the deep gnome, can now make a dexterity check? Dexterity check. Can, yeah, see if you can actually communicate with this guy. Like, you're, you're very rudimentary at this tongue. That's a critical one. Well, you're no longer. You seem to be. Yeah, it <clears throat> it rolls off the tongue, and he looks at you suddenly, eyes wide. And what what do you say to him? I ask him, "Do you speak common?" And he shakes his head. Well, we're in a bit of a pickle. There are two dragons back that way. There's Magma back that way. And as he looks at the door, it's, it's start to bulge and buckle, and turn red. There's like, there's like four. He's looking at like five sprites. By the way. His and he slowly is getting up and and he kind of puts his hands together and he seems to look with a bit of despair though and he looks around for a weapon or something but you can see that he's he, he knocked him unconscious. Well, he does have some daggers and stuff. Yeah. But he appears to want to I don't know survive I guess at this point. You don't even know his name. But here he is. We'll call him Deep Gnome Dave. No. <laughs> Deep Gnome Dave. Yeah. I think for the time being, we'll just call him Dave. Dave the Gnome. Three A's to make it sound trippy and cool. All right. And oh, God. And. <laughs> That's second round. One more round. So everyone's hovering and sparkling. Anyone take damage? Uh, need heals? Nope. Not really. I'm, I'm uh, good. Kyrath okay. says you're down. I'm down 11, 12. But, uh, I'm well, I'll take my last healing potion. I've got three. I'll take one. That's Brother Merrick. I'll give you that. Uh, how many? That's a D8, right? Uh, two die four. Oh, be right back. And then we're then you see the door is going to burst. You guys have to get out of here. Guys, Tyrath is not above tripping one of you. All right. He wants to live. I'm back at max. Seven more points. Yay, so I'm up to 36. 30 out of 30. 36 out of 41. I'm like one of the more busted characters. Yay. Okay, so ooh, these are large creatures. I get to do two die eight damage to them. I forget, does Sprite have a... a I'm going to hit these things like a truck, man. All right, let's see here. Minus four to hit by large creatures when being attacked. <clears throat> now, you guys do get around when you, you still, mm -hmm. when you come out, you haven't been seen, you hope. You can still deploy. So you have to come up with it. You had last round. You can also talk about what you want to do when you come out of the tunnel. Now, you know what's outside the tunnel. There's that mm -hmm. little bridge. There's a, there's a stream. There's a little village. Bodies everywhere. Yeah. Wait, is it okay if I Are you going to stay mounted on the lizard? Well, currently he has mirror image cast on himself, and he's mounted on a lizard. So there's like 
a total of five sprites in the area. I'll head all over this creature. Well, it might help if it attacks you. Who's going to know? Who's, who's going to be your tanks? Who's going to go in the front? How are you guys going to do this? Uh, well, as far as being in the front, my answer is one, two, three, not it. Not it. One, two, three, <laughs> I might as well be it. And Ranger Brad is like, he's got yeah, his he sword shield out. Me. Why does Ranger Brad look like a lizard man? Because he's got a strength spell cast on him. And he's got plus five strength. Is that what that does? It's, yeah, that's what uh, 1d8 points. And if he hits 18, uh, then anything that would take him over 18 okay. adds 10 percentiles. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. So if he hit 18 strength, anything left over, you know, would take 18, 10, 18, 20, okay. you know. I'm just going right. to go ahead and happily take my 19 strength and start hitting people in the mouth. Yeah. Anything that comes near me, I'm going to stab at it. If not, I'm going to shoot it from afar with this repeating crossbow. What now, by it? the way, that Cointon's ointment mm -hmm. heals anything. Anything? Um, and I mean, and it heals one that. die 12, I think, as a yeah. shot. And there's, oh, roll six sided die to see how many. Um, uh, I'm going to actually roll so, eight. Yeah, one die six. So, Darren, I have a slight problem. Mm -hmm. The ability of the player's handbook does not go to 19. That's a six. So you have six doses of that Cointon's ointment. It heals any disease, any poison. Just anything? Any. It's powerful. And it heals one die 12, I think, damage. All right. So... Spells are activated. Tanrel, you got this flickering flames around you. You look up the spell; it's kind of neat. Mm -hmm. Yep, I did the cold one because that's the one that lets me take. All oh, right, so you'd have yeah, this but... aura of steam or not steam, but frost. Frost. <laughs> and the door is buckling now precariously. The rivets are popping, and it falls over, and and lava starts to stream into the room. But you guys are ready. Yeah. And you guys exit the room now. Who's up front? You guys get to the cave entrance, and you can get close, and you see daylight. You guys can move yourselves up. Yeah. I'm looking, I'm looking for something here. Um, now, Deep Gnome Dave's with you guys. He's got uh, a dagger and a buckler yeah. and Where's armor. Dave? He's pretty tough, actually. Yeah, you see Sprite on his lizard. He's the lab, and he's, he's like looking at all you guys, right? and kind of hisses. Ah. Is the tunnel towards six, or which which direction is the tunnel? That way. Yeah, lava's this way. Uh, pouring in. I should have made some sort of effect, but I got lazy. Thank you, lot. Okay, I am definitely not in front, but I'm going to move myself up there. So, I'm moved, at least. Yeah, I'll Brother be Merrick. I'll be behind the other two, like um, Somos and Tyrath. Because I imagine I've got like what thirty health, and the lizard has thirty-two health. So yeah. Plus seven. Okay, damage. Kapuna comes flying up to you out of the shadows. By the way, invisible, so you don't even know she's there. Wow, yeah, is... she's invisible. Ten rail, she's close by. Dragons, dragons, she's whispering. Yes, we're aware. Yeah. <laughs> she's terrified she's come back and lava starts to fill that room now you guys come into the opening and you look and you can see the dragon circling those near mm -hmm. the entrance they have, they don't see you but they will eventually okay. and go ahead by the way good sir Darren the potion of giant strength can only use, be used by fighters by fighters by, only by fighters ah. we've so, so got a who took that? I did. I already drank it. Yeah, but you're a fighter, Claire. Yeah, I mean, I've got fighter. I can take it. I'm just saying they can. Yeah, okay. Yeah, good, no, good call. That's we got, and that. Um, it doesn't tell me how long it lasts. That's the problem. Oh. There's nothing in here about how long it lasts. Okay, another round goes by, and you can see they're circling and checking out the corpses and flicking them around over at the village. Okay. And they're talking to each other and stuff. Oh, I got pictures too. Actually, I should show you guys. Oops. One second, I'll set something up for you guys. 
this thing, yeah. this potion lasts a full seven turns. Seven turns? Seven wow. turns. Full turns. Yep. Pretty long length of time, dude. Mm-hmm. Hour and ten minutes. minutes. No, hour and ten minutes. Yeah, it's a long time. Yep. I was... So I should get this coming. It's plus, set, plus three to get plus seven. Oh, somebody's got some Darth Vader going a bit. I just have to mention yeah, that. Yeah, it's not me. I, I don't know who's Vadering. There. I'm going to refresh real quick. Just make sure. Well, it wasn't me because I heard it. So and Me too. <laughs> it wasn't just me, right? No, no, we all heard it. <laughs> Somebody was mic humping like a bitch. Okay, I've, I've got some cool dragons here. Take a look. No, I don't want to see your cool dragons. Your dragons go to hell. <laughs> One's name is Pyra Phoenix, and the other one is Grisdale Far. I don't want to know their names. I just want them dead. Mm-hmm. I want the experience. <laughs> and they're, they're, they're going around the village and trying out bits of gibberline and horse meat and kind of spitting them out and throwing them around and mm-hmm. roasting them with their flames. <sighs> they seem quite young and cocky and laughing at each other. Okay. But they, they're looking toward the entrance once in a while, you notice, though, because they know something's up. All right. Who wants to go first? Glasses. Okay, next round. Do, so do we one just round. Wanna, do do we just want to keep going forward? Yeah, Dude. Ranger Bad nods. He goes. He motions. I'll peel to the right and hide amongst the river and try to get shots with my bow. How do you put the numbers on the uh, token on the? Uh, so he know. sprints out there and tries to. You click on it and then you type a number in one of the circles. He seems to get out there without being noticed at the moment. Uh, now, you hear in the whisper out of nowhere, you hear this, No, wait for me. Give me one round. I must get out there and find a place to hide. Kapuna, you see her footprints in the dust as she skitters by invisible. And she mm-hmm. runs outside. You see her just disappear. And somebody no still darts. Your mic might be close to your face, too. It might be as simple as that. Uh, who else who wants to go out there? You have one round to get out there. Uh, Brother Merrick is like, he looks at you all and he's sweating a bit. He's like, well, I shall try to make a f- target in the village. I will go to the, I will go to the bridge and challenge them. Don't die. Don't die. So he walks out to the bridge. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, Deep Gnome Dave slips, walks by you guys with this sort of resigned look on his face like he's going to his death. He totally ignores you guys. He's walks by with the dagger in his hand and a buckler, and he walks up behind Brother Merrick and just stands there looking at these dragons, like spits off the side of the bridge. Ah. Mm-hmm. Somos goes to the lip of the and goes, you're all nuts. He goes to the cave entrance. Sprite, you're sitting on your mouth watching him go by. You'll be spotted if you go out there pretty quick. Well, you realize those guys in the bridge are going to be spotted pretty quick. Yeah. I'm, I'm literally a, a gnome surrounded by four other gnomes. Uh, I'm yep. going to step out to the opening, but still trying to be in cover. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be caught in a tunnel with with flame breath weapons. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but so I, you, I want cover too. So yeah. So good. QP goes with you, mm-hmm. and she's uh. Fuck you! I swear to God. <laughs> yeah, that's QP. And you're staring. <laughs> uh, Tyrath, your uh, call. Yeah, let's see. Um. Tyrath and Sprite, your call. Oh, sorry, Sprite. Tyrath is going to move himself onto the bridge. Uh, onto the bridge. He's going to get in front of these guys because he doesn't need them to die horribly, and that gives them all the bonuses. And it helps because the dragons actually take penalties to come hit us. Wow. Okay, guys. Kapuna's somewhere off the left. You don't know where she went. She disappeared because she's invisible. Can you see her now? She, oh, he said she was unfistable, dude. That's just not good. <laughs> no, I said she's invisible. Okay, okay. <laughs> Stop hearing what you want to hear. Now, 
you guys are creeping and but it's become there's heat coming and sounds and Gris Feldwar spins around suddenly hisses ah and hisses at the other one now mm -hmm. let's make a uh, roll surprise rolls okay oh I rolled it too thank you we might actually get it you guys what'd you get six you guys surprised them and they just one kind of just heard something what he spins around and Kapuna's gone she gets around any missiles or spells first um yeah might as well blow my last magic missile magic missile gonna, for dragons i'm gonna take a shot with this repeating crossbow so i will shoot at the dragon that he doesn't do that as well. Okay. Whichever or whichever one's closer. Right, way. that's quite a ways away. That's long range. You're at plus five. All right. Stinky guy. I'll take the chance. All right. And everyone make a save. Uh, for is... Petrification Polymorph. Just to see if you're not minus one. Is your first dragon you fought? So, so guys, we're at plus one. If you're with me. so Deep Gnome Dave, me, and uh, Brother Merrick are all at plus one. Okay. So. Oh, I just made it. Education. Okay, so that's a twelve. Oh boy. I mean, there we go, guys. Why is that machine on the order? Christ on a bike. <laughs> <laughs> you failed. A three versus a twelve. What are we saving versus? Petrification polymorph. Tyrath freezes. No, no. Uh, you're just minus one. Yeah. What it's is my here. save? Because I don't have that written down. Yeah, I got a seventeen. Uh, so. What level are you again? <laughs> what race are you? Uh, fourth He's level a... magic user, and I'm an elf. It says here thirteen. Uh, I'd say 12 at best with. Oh, I have enough bonuses. So that 13 would technically be a 10, but that's, that's fine. I'll take the 13. Yeah. I'm so not... you pass. Mm -hmm. If you pass, you're fine. Yeah. Well, I have it. I have it. Yeah. I'll roll in a second. I just want to check one other thing. Okay. Anyone want to discharge spells? I'm going to do a. Yeah, I, I will. Hold on. Let me look up one thing real quick. Remember they're 70, 80 feet away right now, at least. All right. That's long range, so it's a plus five to hit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'd be at a ten either way. Range so. on, what's the range on a curse? Let's see. To hit bonus. Well, that's a fifteen, so I save. Is the range? Uh, nice. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so I can get sixty. I can get sixty yards away. Mm -hmm. I can. Hit with a curse. That was a natural twenty. That's what we're gonna do. Wow. Okay. Now well, I can get a hundred yards away with magic missiles, so I can. I can. Ah, ah. Stop clawing me. Now you got a nat twenty, so you yeah. get a hundred XP. Mm -hmm. Plus, like a fish. you get plus one against these dragons. You just feel yourself on top of the world, like you're like I'm gonna conquer everything. I'm on. I'm mounted on this lizard. And you're going in, and you're just like, let me at him. Hunter sided? Nope. Just a plus one. To hit. Yeah. Uh, so my magic missile does nine points of damage. All right. Uh, what's the damage on a crossbow bolt? Uh, let me have a quick look. I don't think dragons have magic resistance. Oh, they the do. Just depends on the age category. Okay. Standard. No, just standard. Really? They're just standard. Yeah, yeah they don't have magic so, resistance. So Darren, uh, Nine points damage, you say? Yeah. Somebody's talking. Yeah, I did, I did nine points of damage. I don't know who's talking. That's, that's a Nestor's end. Oh. Um, okay, where were we? Okay. So uh, I think we have nine points of damage on one of them, and I'm aiming for uh, Grizz, how the fuck you say the end of that name, uh, with a curse. And it does go up to 60 yards out. Which, if... Yeah, curse takes a while to cast, doesn't it? All round. 
What's the um, damage on a crossbow bolt? 1d6, I think. But w- wait, large creatures, though, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Hang on a second. Let me dig make that out. Okay, hold on. Let's organize this. I know. He's yeah. asking a question while we're trying to organize them. Go yeah, because everyone's acting. Mm-hmm. Okay, I was just, okay, spells and missiles. Yep, we did those. Yeah, okay. Not 20. Somebody's got bad mic sound right now again. It's oh, Nestor. Okay. Sorry. Go, cat. Stop calling me, you whore. Um, for a large creature is 1d4, actually. 1d4. Or it's a uh, it's actually wait are you using a heavy or a light crossbow? It's a repeating crossbow. It still doesn't matter. Is it a repeating light or repeating heavy? Light, light. One uh, D or yeah, one D four. Okay, go ahead. Roll four sided. All right, one D four plus one. Okay, this one gets hit by the magic missiles. It's like yeah, yes. that's a What'd five total. And this is a uh, slow poison dart or you know a crossbow. Okay, that's ten hit die monster. <clears throat> Yay. Yay for curses. Six. Oh, it made it saving throw. All Dragons right. are, have very good saves, by the way. Good to okay, know. any other missiles? Nope. But there oh, is a curse. Uh, Mr. Brad shoots his bow. And there is a curse out there that creates a five by five area off of Grizz Del Flar, however they can say his last name. Remember his name. Fourteen. That's gonna be close. Hold on. All right. So that's nine. Oh, that's a miss. Ting off the uh Okay, now initiative. Hang on, Darren. Are you gonna apply this curse off of Grizz? Mm-hmm. Oh. He has a five by five area surrounding him. That gives him minus one to hit, and mm-hmm. anything within that range minus one to hit. There is no saving throw. Okay. Yay! Now he gets a saving throw. Hold on. Not on. Not according to the book. There is no saving throw against a dragon. Nope. There is no saving throw allowed for bless or curse if you reverse it. Hmm. Mm. Nice. <laughs> Okay, let me find a thing. Mm-hmm. Yay! <laughs> the people rejoiced. All right. Um, any other spells? No, it's a good call. Minus one might help. Miss by one, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, different from life Better and death. Than on. Oh, yeah. Uh, anyone left? No. And okay. if it gets close enough to him, it's going to be minus two because the prayer and the and we'll stack. Oh, yep. Okay, okay edition, I rolled a three for initiative. And this edition, <laughs> there is not a whole lot that doesn't. That's a four. Okay, you guys go first. Uh, it appears they're going to come at you. They've turned now. You shot one. He's pissed off. He's, ah! You heard him. He's he's actually feels it. Those magic missiles did some damage he's and angry. stuff. He's not happy campered. Someone have, can in, someone share a screen? Uh, let me see if I can. <laughs> Here for me too. Now, let me see what I can do here. Sources. Let's go. Can you guys see their names? Yep. Let me see what happens here this time. Let's. You guys get to go first. Missiles first. Um, okay, Ranger miss. Brad shooting. Everyone can just fire away if they want. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to fire because yeah, yeah. now is a great time to make <sighs> use the plus one arrows that I have. Yeah, I'm going to make another shot. Son of a bitch. It's being a war. Um, normally it just lets me screw Okay, you're shooting button. against armor class one. Okay. Oh, Jesus. I probably won't hit. Oh, no, negative one. All right, that's a 19. That will hit. D4 plus one. Barely. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> well, Which that one is shooting at? Doesn't hit. Uh, the closest one, which would probably be Grizz. Oh, wait. Now you added. Now that one's medium range now. Yeah. So that's still plus two. You rolled a 19. Mm hmm. 17, you're level four fighter. Mm hmm. What's your bonus as a gnome? Anything? Or... I don't think I, I, don't think I get any bonuses for gnome. Damn it. You get a uh, bless or anything? 
Because uh, you need a ni- 19 to hit this guy with a crossbow. Yeah, I rolled a 19. Yeah, but you're medium range. There you go, Darren. Mm-hmm. That shit allows so you're, pl- you're plus two? Or minus two, so you got a 17? So did you have any? That's mm-hmm. why you need a bonus. You I've guys need these... it. That's what I mean. You guys need all your bonuses on this shit. So I pumped as many as I can. For now. So Mr. Some of us what a, uh... So you'd if have the chance plus to one. It. If you're mm-hmm. I'm not sure who has what going now. Uh Somos has the protection, he has the prayer. Yeah. Tyrath has the prayer as well. So if you're yes. close to him, you get plus one. Mm-hmm. 18, anything for gnomes, I'm looking. Which just means I get plus 7 to hit now instead of plus 8. So 19, that... and my to hit bonus is, yep. Yeah. I've got a to hit bonus of 2, so that now, should even out, right? What's your dexterity? My dex is a 17. Cause, yeah, because you get it. Now, what's your bonus you, uh, for, you should have a... This will hit to plus 2. Yeah. So that should even out, yeah. Go ahead, roll your damage. All right. Got to remember that stuff. Yeah, All right, got to remember that one. stuff. By the way, Darren, is that screen share going to be okay for now? All right, that's five damage, and that's another oh, yeah. save against poison. <laughs> it's a dragon. I'm not too afraid of its safe versus poison being held. <laughs> we rolled a four. Yeah, let me have a quick I'm look. Gonna be, Frank, I'm a little more terrified if this thing once it starts breathing fire because it's going to eat our souls. Yeah. Yeah, we're probably all going to die. Yeah. We probably are. Hey, look, I mean, I got a plus two versus their magical fire. <laughs> so do I. So what does that poison do again? It's a slow poison. No, oh, it slows them. So they can only come at us at half speed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he slowed. He failed the save. He did, and he rolled really bad. Guys, is this the is this the D game of absolute utter failure? Jesus, man, we are rolling like crap tonight. But he's only slowed for one round. Oh boy! Damn it. Like I said, he gets to come at us a little bit slower. Uh, so he he turned and he was going to come in and attack and jump down, but it, it's going to take him. He won't be able to attack till next round. That's okay. Tyrath will help him with that. Because <laughs> now he yeah. descends from the sky at a slower rate. <laughs> because it's, yeah, it's now a very lucky shot, too. Uh, anyone left? Anything else? Is he still in the air, or is he actually close enough for us to hit yet? No, not. He's slowed now. He won't attack the next round. He was oh. going to jump in and attack. Oh, damn it. But okay. the other one sweeps in, and a huge gout of fire erupts from its mouth. Lovely. This is just fun. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, this is gonna suck. Um. <laughs> I really don't want to do here, guys. Well, I'm gonna have to pull out some effects here. Oh lord! I can try to snake charm it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do, guys? I don't if only know. it was that easy. I know. I do. I don't think I have a. Okay, Pyro Phoenix comes sweeping by, does a strafing run with his breath weapon. He's the male. <laughs> Is that like a spell save? Oh, uh, breath weapon. Breath weapon. That's gonna be that would be the time. breath weapon save. That's it's gonna be Jesus. Ooh, if there is a god right now, you will let me roll a thirteen. I'll yeah. just try to save on that one because I, I I only had my. Uh... Oh, thank God I saved. Oh, thank God. Okay, so you take half damage. Okay. Uh, but Tyrath's not. Tyrath's eating it. Oops. Hey, uh, Darren, what's the magic user save? Uh... How do you have this written down? <laughs> yeah, no, I never did, actually. You never wrote down your saves? 13 is your base. Okay, well, then I will take the 13. Um, all right, so I got a plus three to all my saves, plus two... From by, the, the by the way, you've messed up Grizz really bad. And you know what you've done with that slow spell? Mm-hmm. You know where Kapuna has been? Yeah. You're getting ready to stab him in the back. She's running up underneath him. 
stick mm-hmm. them so but then... unfortunately i'm looking at the cone here it's gonna hit tyrath merrick and sprite okay okay well i if it hit me i don't take any damage because i rolled a 19 on the die and with the fire shield i'm good well i got oh, a plus I three on that roll and i still fucking failed it well i take half damage Oh, you took, uh, you're scorched, Tyrath. Yes, I am. You take 30 points damage. Yeah. Oh! And it just cinders you. Like, well, no, you're standing, though. I'm sick. Uh, Brother Merrick, as a monk, he gets to avoid everything if he doesn't miss this. Oh, he nails a crit. And he jumps it. He totally, he gets an attack. He jumps at the dragon as it flies over top like a madman. Mm-hmm. Uh, he attacks it. Rah! Mm-hmm. And somehow he rolls an eight. And misses. And misses and is not scorched. Uh, did Deep Gnome Dave make his roll? No, he has not rolled yet. No, he did not. Deep Gnome Dave is turned into... Oh, how many points does this guy have? Oh, dear. He might have he been short-lived. I thought, oh, it might be a little... Nice to have a little sidekick Deep Gnome. All right. Well, it was short-lived. <laughs> a lizard. Let me have a quick look here. As assistant. Oh, he lives. With, like, one hit point? <laughs> they have 33 hit points, those guys. <laughs> Three hit points left on him. Yay! <laughs> he just he takes a hit. You see that he's just scorched and he drops off. My problem is I don't remember how it reloads in this edition. Mm-hmm. Brother Merrick, three times a, a day. Uh, oh, Sprite, you have to roll. Yeah, I saved and took half damage. Okay, make a save for your lizard. I already made the save for the lizard. And you made it. Yeah, with like a so seventeen. You, you take fifteen hit points each. Yeah, I just subtracted those. Somebody else is going to have to come up front and be the uh, poor punching bag while Tyrath recovers. The one guy's pretty hurt. The one the one dragon, you guys messed up pretty good, actually. Yeah, the yeah. problem is Tyrath has six hit points. He takes another as much as like, somebody breathes too hard on him. He's fucked. And by the way, Pyro Phoenix swings around, swishing quickly, and suddenly you see this little motion underneath the belly of Grizzdell. And mm-hmm. oh come on, girl, make a roll. This is your time. They're hit. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Sneak attack times what three right now? Times tr- three backstab. Mm-hmm. Come on, baby. Might actually kill this dragon before it gets a chance to breathe fire on us again. Oh damn it, okay, so she's plus one. So she did six po- oh fuck, she didn't kill it. Okay, Tyra's angry. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I I botched the roll there. Um, oh no! By the way, guys, I've rolled twice over ten all night. Okay, mm-hmm. this dragon suddenly twists and turns, and you see Kapuna appear. Uh oh. Uh oh. She's now visible. Yes. Yep. Too bad I don't have improved in this. The dragon spins. And suddenly it, it, it just nicked the dragon. The dragon's hurt. That those magic missiles, everything's added up. These are young dragons. Mm-hmm. Oh, you hit mean they're not hundred hit hit point dragons? No. Gross. I'm tr- Next chance I get, I'm gonna try and make another shot at Pyro Phoenix. Uh cool, fighting with dragons. Yeesh. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let's uh, get this back in order. So that one slowed. It got attacked. That one did the breath weapon, swung by. You guys are suddenly reacting on the bridge. You got hit by the fireball. The thing might be swinging around again and do it again. Mm -hmm. It might take a round or two to come by, but uh, any actions you guys can do? Uh, I'm going to cast freaking Cure Light Wounds on myself. Okay. Gee, I wonder why. Ranger Brad's going to shoot at his other shot. I use my oh come the Sniff. fuck on! Seriously, dice one. <laughs> yes. Let me get over here. Take a healing potion. Two d four. 
I rather while he's taking his action to heal himself, he's gonna back up and so out of the way. Runs across the bridge. I rather does not have a choice but get the hell out All of the way. Eight. Good God. Come on, give me sprites. Oh, what the hell? I did not tell it to move. I hate when it does that. All right, next round. Initiative. That okay. slow actually stopped it from attacking you. That You know, Dragon yes, gets yes. three attacks. You know how much damage their bite does? A lot. It's like 2d10. Mm -hmm. Okay, what'd you get for initiative? Six. Wow. So you guys won initiative. Now, this one seems to be ready to attack Somos or Kapuna. Mm -hmm. And the other one is circling around to use its breath weapon. Well, since we're going to have spells first, I'm going to go ahead and cast another Cure Light on myself so I fuck that last one up so I'm like, fiercely. Okay, this, something's like, my dice fucking waited. That's two more. I'm going to get within range of Pyro Phoenix to hit him. So I'm not a penalty. I got another D8. That's ridiculous, dude. I haven't rolled above a fucking 10 tw except twice tonight. There's something there, fucking wrong. Now, how far... How how far can I move and cast a spell? You can take your full move and cast a spell as long as you have no segments left. No, no, exactly. So, depends how many segments it takes to cast a spell, but that's a bit different, too. Casting a spell takes so many segments. Yeah, I know. I gotta look up how many segments. It'd be like the first time having this spell has been useful. Ranger Brad runs out there, throws his bow down, draws his sword. Now, I don't know about Somos being here, because this dragon's gonna fight you guys. If he's, Huge we much. need him here because, dude, I'm actually down to one first level spell, which is one cure spell left. We are boned if I go down. You guys get first move. This dragon's hurt. The other one's not hurt. I'm going to take a. But this one's quite hurt. You can tell. It's like, ow. I'm going to get within close range of the. I'm going to try and pronounce his name Grizz. Delphoire. Yeah, that's the one that's close to death, I think. Yes, yeah, he's yeah. almost dead, guys. It's just... I I'm going to try and... can't look at me the wrong way right now or I'm dead. I'm going to try and stab it with my swords. Ah, you go swords. up to this dragon. Now, did you make your save? You were minus one against the dragon, right? Now, the dragon is cursed, so... I made my save. Okay, so... Okay, go ahead. Out. The spell I want to cast, Darren, is is uh, takes two segments, so oh, I can get within sixty feet of uh, Pyre Phoenix from you where I am. Trying to drench his breath weapon, aren't you? Mm -hmm. What? You trying to drench his breath breath weapon somehow, aren't you? Uh, no. Let's make it worse. What um, do you want to try to do? I'm gonna try. Well, is it still in the air or is it landed? It's in the air. Pyro Phoenix is in the air. Uh, well, that's a ruling on you, but that spell's probably not gonna work then, so never mind. Um, okay, you got 10 seconds. Is the other one on the ground or is he still in the air? He's in the air, but he's landing. He's gonna attack Kapuna. You can always. And, and can Griswold, always it's hard to say. Both these guys are. You can sprite. always hold a direction until yeah. Grizz. Until the damn dragon lands, dude. Okay, well, I'm going to move up towards the, uh, the middle of the, the of this. bridge so that I'm Take in time. closer range to them. And then I'm going to hold my action so that if Pyre Phoenix lands, I'm going to web the shit out of it. So, Right. Uh, Kapuna is terrified underneath. And this, thing's, a, this, roll. this thing's above her just... Uh, and I... She's terrified, but she just strikes out with her dagger in desperation and mm -hmm. screams as this dragon hovers over top of her, screeching, and she's pinned and can't do anything. Tanrail, you're holding at the moment. Tyrath, you're cast to heal. I'm standing. Ranger Brad shot a bow he missed. And then, he ran, and then he ran up, changed weapons, and you're stabbing. Did you roll? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm taking a picture of this one. Oh, really? What'd you get? Natural 20. 100 XP and make a 100-sided roll. Okay. 33. 
Okay, you do double damage. This is... Against a dragon, against a large creature, you're All using right. a what? Short sword. That's one die six. Okay. Six. Thank you. Wow. So describe six. how you somehow... Are you still mounted on that freaking lizard? Yes. Okay, this thing was just about to breathe fire, by the way. He's going to scorch all three of you. Uh, I, had, I was thinking six, uh, he's one, pissed. Two. So I did like 14 to that thing. You killed it. Yeah. You see Sprite sort of just like take his sword out, sort of stand up on the lizard and just stab it in what what he assumes is an Achilles heel. Is the Achilles tendon? <laughs> and gets the femoral artery or something. But yeah. Pyra Phoenix gives a screech of rage, of course. And he fluttered yeah. back. Uh, so you killed that dragon. Wow. Well done. Now give yourself 100 XP for that 20. And I'm yeah. going to give you 500 XP for your character for slaying a dragon. But you guys will mm -hmm. share more. Yeah. By the way. Now he was about to cast Breathe Fire, but you killed him. Mm -hmm. Wow. However, Pyro Phoenix does swing back and sprays fire again. So this time, Sprite, you have to make another roll. Somos. And Ranger Brad has to make a roll, as does Kapuna. He's pissed off now. He, uh, you just killed his mate. So, Kapuna, that's close. 13. Oh, my. Actually, thieves are pretty good. Oh, that chant is going to be the shit. She needed that. She takes 15 damage. Well, at least she's not dead. Pretty close. Hold on. Actually, she is. Fifteen was enough to kill her. Kapuna she, she had some damage from before. Yeah, Kapuna's dropped. As long as she's not past negative nine, I could technically save her. She's negative one. Oh, I don't want a metagame. Sorry. Well, that th that's actually like the real question would be like, is she kind of feebly moving? Mm, no, she's been scorched and smoking. Yeah, she's rolling around unconscious. Example, like, if she like if she's even feebly moving. Tyra to be able to notice it. It'd be kind of vague from here, but <laughs> yeah, she is feebly mo oh, moving. That's fine. Yep. Uh, Sprite, did you make your save? This, right. You guys knocked out one dragon. Stick with me. We got another dragon to kill. Kapoon is down. I don't know if he's still here. Hey, uh, let me see. Sprite? Oh, Nestor. He walked oh, off for gone. a second. I, yeah, I don't see him. <laughs> okay, I'm going to roll for him. Oh, an 18. Yep, he's good. We'll keep that roll. <laughs> like a champ. But his steed takes 30 points damage and is cooked. He has to jump off it dramatically. Oh, sorry about your lizard. Unless he gets back here real quick, I'll let him roll, but nope. Well, that was kind of fun. Somos makes his save. Takes another fifteen damage. He's down to twenty four. The bright side of this is this thing can only breathe like a couple more times before it runs out. Nay. Three times a day, but if you guys, somebody rolled a one, I remember, on their lore. Yeah, Jeff did. So it fired twice, it has one more. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just going to have to stay out of the way till I keep trying to heal myself the best I can. But it's pissed off. It looks like it's coming in to fight hand to hand. Oh, it probably will. Randy limb for limb. The reason I need to stay out of combat for a couple of minutes. Uh, Somos is going to take a cut at it, run up and attack it. Rah! As it gets close enough. And misses. And he gets two attacks this round. And misses. Rolled a couple sevens. 
The Ranger Brad. Uh, he changed weapons, whatnot. He can't get there. He's running towards Kapuna to try to stabilize her. Deep Gnome Dave is trying to put out a fire. His, his <laughs> back's on fire. Brother Merrick is down, right? Isn't he? Or no, who's down? No, uh, Kapuna's down. Oh, Brother Merrick. Stop. Yeah, Brother Merrick's good. <sighs> Brother Merrick jumps, vaults off the bridge, runs forward, and goes to attack the dragon next round. Wait. Tyrath is healing <laughs> back there. He's trying to heal. Okay, next. That's it for that round, then. Indeed. And he had a new initiative. Big Good breath job. weapon. Took down Kapuna. Oh, Ranger. Almost killed Tyrath. Oh, Ranger Brad has to make a roll. Oh, no, he wasn't in range. Forget it. Did he move I rolled a three. Oh, you need those magic dice and nesters. Yes, we do, but one of us will have to roll and yeah, let's see what I can get. Trust me, you don't want me rolling, dude. Not the way I'm rolling. Uh, I got a six, so we go first. Jeez. Okay, the dragon comes into attack, and Kapuna's down. Sprite's there, and so on. Take well, a sprite guess first. At what, take a guess at what I'm doing. <laughs> if you guess healing, you're right. Oh, this dice loves me for fucking eight. Oh, finally got you. Okay, so <laughs> Sprite <laughs> is going to... He still has the mirror image going, but he's going to cast... Or no, he's going to... This dragon's in front of him. Oh, he gets plus one against these dragons for a while, because he... And look at that, I rolled a 19. And he goes in <laughs> with this... Oh, and I rolled a max damage. Holy oh. cow. This gnome, who is this guy? Wow, he goes in there and really gives this dragon a good cut. And the thing hisses and snaps back. Nice shot. And that's it. Oh no, he gets two attacks. He has his daggers. Well, his mount has been cooked. That's too bad. I was kind of getting used to that. Oh, no. He rolls a crit. Hey, look out, cat. Nope. Ah, no, he's good. I don't, I don't know where mine are at. Okay, Kapuna is down. Tanrael, your turn. All right. Let's see. I'm going to try to fire an arrow for what good that'll do me. Okay, you can pull out your bow and get one shot off. But not with a seven. Oh, shit. Okay, Tyrath. He already went. He physician hill thyself. Ranger Brad has a sword out now. He runs forward and takes a chop. Yeah, don't forget his extra strength because he's got that for turns. I rolled a six. Oh, well, yeah, that won't help. Uh, Grizzle's dead. Wow, you guys killed that dragon. I'm impressed. Uh, now it's this dragon's turn, and he... I'm going to roll to see. I rolled a, either Brother Merrick. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh-oh. It cluttered up here. Sprite. Attack Sprite with two claws. And then does a bite on brother or Ranger Brad. Claw, claw. Oh, wow. Okay, Darren, me and you got to have a talk after this game about poor rolls. Yeah, so one claw is really a big bad whiff, and, and Sprite gets a counterattack. He's not here. I'm just rolling you know, against negative one armor type, though. Boy, boy, that's close. That, those two bonuses, 18, just a hit for two points damage, that'll help. Oh boy, <laughs> fighting a dragon's tough. Uh, okay, so those two claws, it does a bite damage against Ranger Brad. Big bite. Oh. 
Okay, somehow it bites up the ground in front of it. <laughs> did I just roll another one? No. Yes, you did. Wow. So Ranger Brad does a little sidestep and misses the attack of opportunity. Wow, that's a, yeah, roll 20 is just quite something. Um, yikes, that's ugly. Close call, boy. That their bites do three die thirty damage just on the bite. Three d ten, yeah. Okay, initiative. Oof, four. Uh, let me get my six out again. Six. All right, Sprite goes first. Um, how many hits does he have left? He's dodged. Uh, he's doing okay. Damn, he'll just hack at this thing. He has to get oh that's a hit he needs like a 19 to get him and a plus two yeah that's a hit wow it's actually doing damage three more right. you have to make any saves or anything oh it's been two rounds we're actually toe to toe we've killed one of the dragons yeah the other one is now fighting you guys toe to toe and mm -hmm. you just i just rolled for you you just hit it with your short sword okay so D6 plus one. No, I just rolled damage. Oh, okay. And you guys are doing some damage. This thing's down, but its teeth are snapping. This thing will mm -hmm. kill you with a bite. So you're you unfortunately kind of dagger. done. You do get your dagger attack. Go ahead at minus two. You're back. Yeah. Minus two plus one. Thank you. Three. 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 Jesus. Roll four Listen. sided. It's another uh, natural 20. Oh, 100 XP. You're Dragon Slayer. <laughs> okay. He's doing damage. This gnome is underneath there. Yes. Yeah. B4. All right. Three plus one, four. You want me to roll 100 sided? Yep. Come on. 42, so double. Yep. All right. Wow. Eight. You're you're being now. Oh, make a dexterity save. Dexterity save. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. That's a nineteen. Oh, it's a fail. So you, there's a bunch of dragon blood splashes on you, and you take. Four points damage. All right. 23 health minus four. Now Kapoon is down. She took another hit point damage. She's down negative two now. All right. And, and dying. Uh, Tanrail. All right. Um, it's still in the air, right? It's not on the ground or? Still in the air, technically. I'll try to take a shot at it. I could roll high enough. Well, that's a 19 plus one from the thing plus yeah. one for being an elf. So, Basically, you hit it. All right, so D6 plus one, nice. plus one arrow. Where did my D6 go? There this close battle, guys. This thing's hurting. Like, and it's kind of forcing to land a bit. Its wings are chopped up. Mm -hmm. So another six points of damage from an arrow. Wow, good shot. That hurt. It screeches in rage, pain. Tyrath. Tyrath is going to cast aid on himself and give himself some temporary hit points for five more hit points. Are you just healing? Yeah, dude, I'm down, I was down to six of forty-one. What do you want me to do? Oh god, uh, Ranger Brad. How many hit points does Ranger Brad have? Uh, Twenty-two of forty-six. <laughs> not I many, not. but if he can hit this dragon, damn, it's close. Okay, he's gonna take any rolls of seven. He misses, and the dragon now. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna roll. See who attacks. Who's he going to eat this round? Okay. Ranger Brad and 
Ranger Brad and Sprite. So right. one, one, uh, you're getting the bites. Or no, okay. a, cl a claw attack. All right. One Sprite. That's probably AC it. Two. What's your AC? AC two. Uh, Don't tough. you still have your mirror image up? Yeah, I do have mirror image up. This thing will still hit you, even with that plus four bonus. These things are tough. Yikes, I just looked it up. Um, mm -hmm. It needs an eight to hit you. So even with that plus four, I need a 12. And then you had the chance, so even with the plus five, it still hit you. The image is... It eats oh, your soul, have... dude. This is going to hurt. Now, that's a claw attack. I'm just quick looking up. To so determine... 1 die 8, 1 die 8, 3 mm -hmm. die 30. Okay, so seven points damage with a claw. Shah! All right, I'm still up. And it does two claws in you and then a bite on Ranger Brad. Oh, rolls a three with the other claw, and you just duck under it. You're only two and a half mm -hmm. feet tall. Misses your head. And it goes for the big bite on Ranger Brad, and that might hit. Oh, Lord. What is Ranger Brad's AC? It's terrible. Oh, no. It definitely bites Ranger Brad. This is going to hurt like hell. 3D10 is going to hurt like hell. Yeah. Uh, 12 points damage. Could have been worse. He's down to 8. Has Brother Merrick taken any hits? Nope. No, <laughs> he's been dodging around, bobbing and, right. and I don't think he's attacked either, but... That AC3. I mean, you got a natural 20. No, I'm it's next come round. Around, I'm afraid to come around the corner because I'm terrified this thing is going to breathe fire the moment I do. Next round, initiative. Okay. It missed with its bite. I know it hit, but didn't kill him. Well, I got a six on initiative. Wow, I rolled a six as well. So, no matter what happens, it act its actions Keep take going. effect. Unfortunately, yep. Uh, so you guys can go first, but it's gonna claw and bite attack. I'm gonna use that crossbow. It's too mad to use its breath weapon, but God, its other weapons are bad. Up, uh, you're using the crossbow. Yeah. Now you have your other weapons out. You can't do that. I can drop one, right? Yeah, but you can't load. Crossbow is a pull up weapon. Crossbow and. All right, I'll stab it with the. Around. I'll just stab it with the swords then. You are a beautiful day, you. You guys suck so bad. I hope you know that. I <laughs> have been just ridiculously, ridiculously, ridiculously like yeah. down this game. What'd you get? 20. I wish I, I wish I could make this up. I'm sending the pictures. <laughs> I'm just, I know it's it's almost too ballsy to make up. I'm like, wow. Yeah. You, you know, it's it's actually funny that he says it that way because I've been in games with people that have like tried to make that kind of crap up. And it's normally pretty obvious when they do because they don't act surprised by it. So the thing is, I roll terrible. Yeah, you know, most of you, you, how many games have you guys so been doing at this point? To you know rolled a 20. Well? Yeah. Roll percentage die. Are you going to kill both dragons? I hope <laughs> not. I don't want Tyrath to get a kill. <laughs> Tyrath is not going to get a kill on this. We might as well just get over that. 59. No way. So double damage. 3 plus 1, 4. Total of 8. Yeah. Yeah, you, you killed it, but it still gets to attack. Okay. Right? Simultaneous action. It You killed it. You killed both dragons. You get another 500 XP, personally, your character. Good yeah. now. And you have a permanent plus one bonus against dragons. Permanent plus one against dragons. Okay. Yeah. You are a dragon slayer. I'm going to put that you on the killed two dragons. You're an ace, man. <laughs> I mean, that die normally hates me. So make a note of that in your character sheet. Okay. Dragon Slayer. And you get criticals on dragons are 19s or 20s. Good to know. 
And wow, he thrashes around. Oh, make a dexterity save. Four. Okay, there's acid sprays out its blood and stuff, misses you. Now this thing attacks. I'm going to roll as it dies. Unless some of you guys can do something to alter that. So, okay, so it's going to attack. The bite is going to be against Ranger Brad, and the two claws are going to be against uh, Somos. Okay. Claw, you can take claw. it. It's a hit, hit. He takes eight it. points damage. He can take it. He has a lot of hit points. Down to 16, though. And the big bite on. Ranger Brad is a miss. And even he needs to make like a seven to hit Ranger Brad. And his death throws ensues. Thrash, thrash, thrash. And who else is close by? Ranger. No. Nope. Three, not it. <laughs> wow. Uh, unfortunately, oh, your mount died. Sprite. It'll live. You know what I mean? He'll, he'll live. He'll live with well, it. I was gonna say your mount won't live. It got charbroiled, but it got cooked. Took the full right. force of breath weapon. There's more than one. <laughs> Saved your life. You jumped off of it. There's more than one. Now the wow. question is: Is what does giant lizard taste like? <laughs> That's I rather awesome. find out. You guys. So, oh, you see, Kapuna took another hit point damage. Um, oh, yeah. So this thing is dead, right? It is yeah. very dead. So Darren, I'm gonna run up to uh, run up to her. And I am going to go ahead and I'm going to figure out how I want to do this because there's a way for me to do it. That's a third level spell. I don't have another third level spell ready today. I'm going to imbibe a healing potion because I need it. Um, wow, I'm impressed, you guys. Like, not more you died. I was going to have some more breath weapons hit what? you guys. So, Ooh. Darren, she's at what, negative three right now? Yeah. I'm going to cast aid on her to try to bring her back above zero. Hmm. I don't know if temporary hit points do that. I'll pour a no. healing potion. It's, it's still hit point healing. If, no, I, can bring, if not... I bring her back to zero, it won't bring her back above zero, but it should be able to bring her back to zero. Okay, yeah. Yeah, aid is a really specific spell. No, oh, well, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. Son of a bitch. You can get it. You stabilize her. Yeah, um, so stabilizer, and then I'm going to use my last heal uh, light or heal uh, cure lights on her for five points. Mm -hmm. so she's above zero. Now I've kind of made a bit of a ruling on that the old school way. Like um, a cure light wounds will only give you back one hit point if you're negative. Well, that's the thing. If I bring her back to zero and then use it. Oh yeah. yeah. So. That was a whole As idea. Bring her back to zero with eight, and then bring her back up to five, which means that what will happen is she'll go back down to two when eight ends. And it, you guys are like, "Holy crap!" Standing around, you're all quick huddled around Kapuna, and she'll live. She'll be. She's alive. And she's breathing, <laughs> and, I and the lizard's just... dead. Sprite, and you guys all have scorched hair, and yeah, you're looking at these two dragon corpses, going, "Holy shit!" You guys killed two red dragons, by the way. They're young adults. Um, names were Grizz. We should write these down in the annals of this party. Somebody better write this down. <laughs> I'm impressed. You guys, I thought, oh, man, this could be a party wipe. Did Dave they... survive? Dave did survive. Dave... Yeah, he's got three hit points. He's scorched. <laughs> All his hair, whatever he had, is gone. I am, yeah. I'm pissed off at my dice right now, by the way. I'm going to roll Dave up. You might have to join your party because his people are gone. They yeah. took the star and left. I wow. Mean, Sprite will gladly live with another gnome. Even if he's an evil, demonic gnome. You know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> as, long as, as long as you pay rent, he doesn't care. All right, people. So you quickly take stock of uh, what do you want to do now? It, it seems... Unreal. Well, first, first things first, let's search these dragons to see if they have anything useful. Yeah, but he that. The dragons, they might. Well, there's you now the spells start to wear off and stuff. And yeah, if nothing else, we could break the damn dragon claws off of them. That's nice. Thinking dragons usually have a dragon lair somewhere. 
Yeah. yeah. The question is, how far away is it? That's mm-hmm. a good question. Logical question here. Yeah. Start searching. Yeah. I mean, we can start searching, but. Mm-hmm. Well, on nothing else, like I said, we could break the claws off these things. No, this will be. Their claws and stuff are money. No, this will be worth a pretty penny. Yeah. Okay, well, actually, I'll, I'll give you guys a break. It's getting a bit later now, and we'll wind up the adventure. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say that you explore this valley, mm-hmm. um, and you spend the next day, like, kind of shoving the bodies into the river or whatever, burying them. And you can also now find a new mount. I'm going to take care Sprite. of that. There's another five or four or five beasts in there. The other one's got cooked alive by the lava. Yeah, he's going to take care of that. Lo and behold, I'll take you guys to another map. Yay. <laughs> refer to Plan K. I like refer to Plan K map. <laughs> refer to refer to Plan K. <laughs> what about the other? What about you know? <laughs> J through A. Yeah. Just say Plan A. Now, a. yeah. So you guys went. You you spent the next day like, where are these dragons? And you found this cave way over here. Mm-hmm. And going in there, you. There's no traps or anything, and you find a dragon horde. Yeah, dragon horde. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you guys deserve it. Dragon horde. <laughs> now get this. Get ready. Okay, somebody. Somebody get a pen ready because this yeah. is the XP it's, hit that's gonna okay. boost so everybody. Just, just write this XP out, guys, because I'll keep yeah. track of the XP. Yeah. Somebody else keeps track of the items. So for the two dragons, that's mm-hmm. two thousand sixty each. Two thousand sixty. 4,120. 4,120. Now, for those items, now, for the previous stuff you guys got, for mm-hmm. uh, getting the books, there were 12 books. There are 300 each. So that's 3,600 XP. Mm-hmm. For those okay. scrolls, you got one, two, three. That's another 7,000 XP for those magic items. Yes. You got that so far? Yeah, I got it. Mm-hmm. Um, take it a moment. Okay, now for the uh, dragon horde, you find two suits of chainmail armor made from a fine mesh. Beautiful. Elven chain, unencumbering. Yes, it is. One is dwarf size, Mm -mm. which is rare. Dwarven suit of elven chain. Yeah. Another one's human size. Okay. There is a suit of beautiful plate mail armor. That's me. All me. Human size. That is all me. Plus Uh, one plate. Yeah, that's Mm. magical plate, and it encumbers like chain mail. Oh wow! Nice. Plate mail plus one. Okay, that's gonna. I'll have to change my armor glasses and stuff in a minute. There's a heavy crossbow plus one. Plus one heavy crossbow. There's a pouch containing eight Snurf Nobly darts. And these ones have that effect of stunned and slow, like stunned for. For the next round and slowed for the four rounds following. And then there's a mound of jewelry and gold and gems and little statuettes and collars and rings, buckles and brooches. Beautiful. I'm just going to give you a base value, and this is the XP you guys share. Here's the hit. This is the dragon horde, remember? Yeah. Right? Yeah. 28,100. Jesus. I'm okay with X- this. XP. It gives us 42,000 to split. <laughs> 42,820 to be exact. How many um, ways are we splitting it? I'm not quite done. There's also, oh. you guys dealt with a, that's another 800. That's another 5,500. For actually completing the, the star quest, getting the books. Mm-hmm. For each book, there were 12 books. 
That's a yeah. thousand, so that's twelve thousand. Uh, you killed that one thing. That was another. It's fourteen thousand. You didn't kill him. Mm -hmm. That's another eighteen thousand. Jesus. We're at 60,820 as we speak. We are so, divided so by four. Four. Uh, we get 15,205 before any splits. 15,200. Now, if you get that 10% bonus. Yep. Well, it, that comes after we split the experience. So, uh, 70,000. Yep. yep 7,602 or 603 base per class if you're multi class. And Sprite, you're a dragon slayer. <laughs> yeah, keep so going. You said I can, I can, to continue on, I can make a different character with the same XP level. Yes. Okay. Yeah, 8, How many XP do you have, by the way? Uh, Thirty-five thousand eighty-three. Okay. Wow. All right. So that total again, Kyle. Uh, it's fifteen thousand. Uh, hang on a second. Wow, guys, we're getting ready for some GDQ stuff, guys. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Seven. I'm, I'm getting a uh, hit team ready to go into the Underdark. 15,206 per. 106? 15,206. Okay. Oh, wow. That's just enough to make a fifth level fighter. Nice. My job over. Weapon specialize. Ah. Fifteen to a six. I think I the levels of fighter. Yeah. Twenty-three. Uh, All right, so forty-nine. We're uh wrapping up, right? Yep. Okay, because I got to get up That's early in the morning. I've got a doctor's appointment at seven forty-five. <laughs> I hate the early morning doctor's appointments. I've ever told you that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. No, well done, guys. I really thought like those two red dragons were going to be like. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, 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 I'm a level five fighter. They only had 30 hit points each, though. Yeah, I like on the back. They were young. Yeah. If they oh, had... and you Good. found two dragon eggs. Oh, boy. I can't oh, yeah. know what I'm going to do with those besides smash them on the ground and fucking wallow in the mess. Plus Find one, somebody to sell them to? Six plus, I think, three. Is right? Six plus two. Eight. 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 Woot. I'm at 49 Eight. hit points. Good, sir. 22,381. Oh, Got to figure out my And to wrap size. up, guys, you guys take the four-day journey back to the tower. <laughs> and mm -hmm. there you present the books to uh, the man. And that's why you get those XP. Yeah. Unless you want to keep them, then you don't get those oh, XP. God, no. And there he, he's grateful. And Brother Merrick is going to use that as sort of a headquarters. Mm -hmm. And then yes. he also mentions about... Um, uh, he says that a, a kindred spirit of his named Brother Jeru, mm -hmm. far to the north, many, many, many leagues, needs assistance, and he calls for help. The forces of the Pomars and the slavers of encroaching. Mm -hmm. and But also to the south, there's trouble in the deserts. Yeah. So there's two directions you can choose to go. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. The next adventure will guide you in this regard. Now, metagaming, I'm going to be running the next step. Which is yeah. here, here soon. And I got a really cool module set up called uh, When Dark Clouds Gather. Mm -hmm. It's level 7 yeah. to 9, so you guys aren't quite ready yet. What level are you guys going to be? I'll be 5'5". Five five. Five. I'm 5'5". Five five. I'm doing the math right now. I'll be 5'5". Okay. So you know what? I might run this other one called All That Glitters. But you guys are ready for like the Slaver series. Yeah. Son of a bitch. If I... you'll set me up a, a another character sheet, Darren, I'll get work on that character. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. We just has anyone heard from Brian since he dropped out of this game? Nope. nope. No. Unless I heard he was having computer issues. That was three weeks ago. Give or take. All right. Well, gentlemen, I'm going to hop off here and get ready for bed. Yeah. Thanks, Jeff. Once again, Vlad. That was awesome. No problem, guys. I will talk to you guys later. I was supposed to have dropped two levels ago, and I didn't realize it.
I'm still waiting for my friggin' PDF to load real quick. <laughs> See you, Jeff. Thanks again, man. That was awesome. Okay, so just so you know, Darren, uh, mm. Tyrath now has a base armor class of zero. <clears throat> wow. By the way, you want to hear the fun news? I lost all of my fucking overlays. I lost a terabyte and a half of information when my operating system got corrupted. Mm -hmm. So that was fun, which meant oh. I lost Tyrath's original character sheet that I had from way back when. Thank God I had him on.